Are you guys ready for more hell? <laughs> oh man, I'm not gonna have time to go through chat like usual at the beginning. We'll, we'll talk of it later. We'll talk of it later. But I'm not gonna have time really to do what I usually do and go through everything. What's up, Pegna? Thank you for three months. It's your birthday! Do you want the birthday song, Pegna? I do have time for that if you want it. Because <laughs> we have two. We have two hours before maintenance starts and we want to try to beat this we couldn't beat it in five hours two days ago so <laughs> ah! we're doomed also oh uh, wait maybe i can expose it from here it didn't let me a minute ago but now oh, we're good okay oh, one two three four five six seven so we do we do sadly have to sub in kit for the raid because kit is at work uh, therefore unable to make it. I see you in chat though, Jingo. Thank you for stopping by to support everyone still. Um, but I do believe that Xana has asked to step in first. Um, Xana, are you in chat? Because if you're in chat, I would like to add you to the party. I will see you actually in game probably. <laughs> if not, we can see. You're here, we are. Good, 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 good. Because you were the first person to request subbing in, so. To be fair, I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna grab you. Mm -mm -mm. And no, we missed you, Kate. You were hard carrying us. <laughs> you can give us any advice in chat. We love it forever. <laughs> I know Kate was a tank, so it's gonna depend if we wanna go for a one tank strategy using Brinjar or if anyone else wants to switch to tank. Um, the thing is, this one, the guide we were using was a one tank guide, but we also kept getting wrecked. So, <laughs> it puts a lot of pressure on Brinjar, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I know, the 4% was so close. <laughs> it was so freaking close. I have, I have a feeling we, that we can potentially do it. I have a quick question about, I'm gonna try to watch the in-game chat and the other chat for a little while. Um... Okay, before the two hours. I hope we I hope so, I hope so, I hope so. Um So are we gonna attempt a one tank to start and see if we can squeak a victory? Let's give it a try! Let's try with one tank, and then we can switch if we don't like it. Hmm. That sounds good to me. Take blue golem, I'll still take red, I'll still take red. We'll do everything exactly the same as last time except for the dive bombs. We gotta change it up. Um hold on, let's put it in chat. Anyone need any refreshers? Or feel okay to jump in and and try once to warm up. <laughs> ah. In a sec. Hi. Oh shit! I'm supposed to go to party. Need to fix my gear though. Is it easier to let you guys repair it or take a in to go to an inn? <laughs> Refresh and strategize, exactly! Uh-huh. Fuck off! Second to two. Oh, first Okay, so we have first dive bomb to C. Second to three. Oh, that's so helpful! Having different callouts for the different dive bombs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Fringar, for setting that up! Um, we'll try my best. Try my best to follow those ones. Because I know you guys wanted to set up new markers and give those a try. Uh -huh. Quick question. Okay, I'm gonna put in game chat. For the meteors, should we go near one, two, three, but like closer? <laughs> um, like depending on our number, or will we still use other markers for those? Mm -hmm. we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. While um, we figure this out, actually, I'm just going to go to Gridania anyway, go to the inn, even though you guys keep telling me not to. Um, just so I can make sure that my gear is refreshed while everyone's strategizing a little bit. And I'll move myself over. I need my I need my sweaty band. My sweaty band. <laughs> well, yeah, we don't have we don't have very long even if there wasn't maintenance, because to be blunt, I'm gonna be on a plane in like ten hours. <laughs> so yeah. 
We only we only really have so long if I'm gonna be on, ah, on a plane in ten hours. I'm not gonna pick me up in the airport though, which is nice. <laughs> I was gonna take the bus with my suitcase to where I was I was staying. <laughs> have you guys ever done that? I did get the airship. I just got it. Have you guys ever done that when you went away? Just literally like take take your take a bus with a giant ass suitcase. Cause I've done it. It's just not very pleasant. <laughs> I'll do it if I have to, but it was nice of Akka and Akka to pick me up, so now I don't have to do that. <laughs> I've actually gone with two big suitcases, like two, two big ones that are big enough that I could have fit inside each one and a carry-on and a backpack and an umbrella. <laughs> it wasn't a good time. I don't recommend it. Hey, hello! I see you're also getting ready. Akko, go, guess, guess, guess. Oh no! <laughs> we'll die! We'll die! <gasps> uh, uh, going for a speed run record. How about we, we don't go for a speed run? <laughs> a speed run? A speed run? Vroom vroom sounds like a bad idea. Just, just a little bit like a bad idea. <laughs> Alright, um. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. Let me use the arrow markings on the ground and the edge marker behind it. I'll try to understand what you guys mean by that. I think I'd have to be in it to know. Uh -huh. Oh, right click. Neasa and ask for repair. I didn't see that message in time. I'll do that next time, Neasa, if that's okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't even know how to set the markers. Uh, hopefully one of us knows how to set the markers. <laughs> Also, Aiden, thank you for the super. You're trying to say hi. I know, but I can't. I can't read chat as much today. I've already said I'm not going to be able to. Thank you for the money, though. But also, thank you guys, everyone, for your patience. We have two hours before maintenance, so <laughs> I'm not going to be quite as interactive with chat for the first half. But, but you don't want to miss the epic conclusion, do you? No, no. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set up the instance for now. Um, we're gonna try it with one tank and see if it goes. If it's really bad, we'll just cancel and set up a new instance. It's not gonna, like, give us any penalty. Um, make sure to eat food before we start it, but we can set it up first. <laughs> no death run, let's go! Not a single revive is gonna be needed. We're not gonna have a single death in the first place, right? <laughs> we say before a pain pickle. Where was it? Reads? Ah, here we go. <laughs> so much fear. So I, I have like, I have like almost PTSD. Not quite, not quite, but like almost from this. Like, but it's still fun. That's still, that's why I'm okay because it's enjoyable. Oh no! First, we imagine, imagine if we cleared it on the first try. That'll be fucking epic. <laughs> that would feel good. Oh yeah, Akka has a porn infection. She has a porn infection. She tried downloading Miku Miku Dance, accidentally downloaded a porn virus. <laughs> I, I hope you're able to fix your porn infection. <laughs> All right, uh -huh. Food buff! Yes, good call on the food check. Not that she is. Okay. Okay, we have markers. Uh -huh. Okay, so these are the same ones as last time, kind of. Um, these are for the dragon. Well, these are for the dragons. Oh. Uh -huh. Use the arrows on the floor. I'm just trying to see where the arrows on the floor are. Where are the arrows on the floor for when we split train meteors? Hmm. Make sure I go to the right place. <laughs> mm -hmm. hmm. North, southwest, southeast. Okay, okay. So, north, southwest, and southeast. Oh! So, like, this, this, and this. This, 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 kind of. This, this, and this. So make sure to pick um, every second one, essentially. Every second one. Okay, 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 okay. Every second one, make sure that you go to one with only two or three people. Okay, got it. Hmm. 
Group one, uh, group three is north. Okay, so I'm just north. Easy, easy, easy. I'll go north. <laughs> All right. Let's just boss. We'll be where Neil is floating right now. Yes, thank you. That's where I will go. Okay, I'll do a ready check. If anyone wants to discuss it all, we have a minute. But if not, we'll give it a try. <laughs> I'm, it's gonna, it's gonna take my brain some refreshing. I don't, I, the first two one is probably gonna go really, really bad. But, we'll get there, we'll get there. Let's go! Mm -hmm. Let me just crank the volume on my end. I hear blasting. Let's go! <laughs> I, I had so much fun last time. I'm excited to come back to this hellhole. <laughs> That's gonna take me a little while to get used to paying attention to all the casts and stuff again, though. So I predict the first couple runs are gonna be probably pretty rough. But. I'm not sure if you were... There, okay, I got it anyway, just in case. We're good, though, we're good. Mm. Fire, 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 fire. Iron Chariot! Who's it going to? I don't know, is there a marker? For... Oh, yes, for who Chariot goes to. And then group! I didn't get to the group in time, sorry! <laughs> I knew I had the group, but I did not make it. Stardust, who is it? Not Pam. It is Pam! Fuck! I don't remember where to go, so uh, it's coming over here. Shit. <laughs> I just brought it away. Uh, I, wait! I spaced out! I spaced out! Wait, that one doesn't matter where I go. Okay, it's fine. Red one's mine! Let's go! I like getting to temporarily be a bard tank. Feels good. <laughs> Getting to be a tank without any tank responsibilities. And it's quite fun. <laughs> Considering we don't have the usual markers, we're not doing bad so far. We're off to a decent start. Considering we didn't even get this far on our first try last time. Like, not even nearly. I go north! 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 Alright. Uh, 
one, good one. Man! <laughs> Come here, buddy! Come here and fight this thing. Sometimes it feels like it's really hard to get them to actually eat the rock. Like, you think they'd want to eat the rock, but there's like, nah, bro. Had enough rocks today. It's not looking tasty enough for me. Is this the north one? Do we move north? Yes. Hi, Frey! We should probably stand on the front one. So we're a little bit closer and they're not as far together. Like on the front half. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, oh. 
Hold on, I missed I missed some notifications. I want to go back to TGM. Thank you for 18 months. Pay no attention, just the 18 month distraction. Thank you. I love the tank buster. Yeah. I'm wondering. That wasn't bad though. Maybe we should keep trying with two tanks for now, or with one tank. With one tank for now. The DPS um was actually helping quite a bit. Huh. Okay. They died from the dive bomb, but the pushback looked good. Oh. Uh -huh. One second. I think I missed the dive bomb call outs, but um, I didn't need them, so it was fine. I was lucky I didn't have the thing. I just didn't know it was happening. All of a sudden, dragons were diving, and I was like, what? <laughs> I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Um, I want to know, do you guys know, um, is this going to lock it? Okay, 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 perfect, perfect, perfect. I just wanted to make sure the map was locked. Apologies. <laughs> I feel like it'll make a big difference for me. For the dive bombs, having the map lock makes me not have to guess where the fuck to go. <laughs> We're good! I don't know how to, like, initiate the battle starting. Oh, there you go. Got the dive bombs! <laughs> so listen for that cute little happy sound. Oh. Let's go! We're doing pretty good today. This, this is way faster than we got to that point last time. Mm -hmm. Considering we're rusty and we've had some team swaps, we're not doing bad! I we never tried with one tank before, so it's kind of a whole new playstyle in a way for us. We're not used to doing it with one. <laughs> Raven's Peak. As well, that's just a tank cluster, isn't it? Oh. I got caught by it last time, though. I think I was too close to the tank, and that's what happened. I got smacked by it. Oh, I forgot, I forgot to fix my face! <laughs> no! It's gonna mess me up the whole time because I'm stressed. I keep missing when we group up. I can't quite get the timing point. I go too far away and then I... I can't figure out where Chariot's gonna go. I, I think there's a marker for Chariot, but I keep missing it every time. And then I just run away in panic, not knowing where it's gonna go. Don't go, don't go, you can stay here. All the, all the things are dead. Just don't go, don't go turn into a mega golem. Oh, that was close. He went really close to the other one as it died. Fear, absolute fear. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone else was not. Okay. Just bad luck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the gacha said die. <laughs> mm -mm, cool. Oh, my face! Hold on. There we go. And now I can. Now I can look at it and it's not quite it's not quite so problematic. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna have the song from this battle stuck in my head for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm not even upset about it. <laughs> I feel 
like I was hit with it once. Even though this shouldn't be possible. Maybe it was just the, uh, one of the, the thingies, the thingies exploded. And go to the group now? I did it! I got to the group! <laughs> I did the chariot properly! <laughs> Am I a pro yet? Am I a pro raider, guys? Am I a professional now? If I did chariot right once. <laughs> is this go to four? Oh, oh, this is down here. Oh. oh, shit. Thank you, thank you. I was trying to figure out where to go. Um, because my usual spot didn't look like it was going to work. Uh -oh. I realized too late. I was like, this is bad. <laughs> but now there's two golems right next to each other. Oh, God. Come here, red guy. Oh, can you guys hear the game as the volume? Okay, I forgot to check. Time to go to North! Oh my god, I forgot which way is North. I'm like, where do I go? Thank you, Free, for the jump me. I fixed the map, but I'm not used to the map being fixed, so I got confused. Oh, it's me. Oh god, me and Frey both got them. Now we're good now. Uh. Yeah, we're pretty good for meteors now. Like, on occasion, we... Oh! I guess too me. I guess, never mind. <laughs> I wonder if we might need the markers for meteors. Okay, the maestro! Um... Hmm. It might have just been bad luck again. Oh, it's a Oh, bleh. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> Miracles, I've typed it totally wrong. Mm. Mm -mm. I wonder if I've got more go. But I wonder if the markers for meteors um, would help with some new people. Well, new person, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. About the tip of the diamond. So like, we're good for meteors? A second ring close to wall? Hmm. That's what I think. I thought we were doing. Uh -huh. Okay, I think I think we're all on the same page. We just might have um, had bad luck or kind of executed it poorly, but we're all on the same page. I think. Huh. Mm hmm. The boss doesn't cleave them. Oh yeah, they only cleave for the for the phase one, I think, right? Or phase one and two, one and two. Come on! <laughs> Die! Stardust on my head. Not me. Ring! <laughs> that was a close call. We did it, we did it. Uh, oh! Okay, and then boom, boom. Yes. I got Cherry again! <laughs> Let's go! I'm learning! <laughs> uh, okay, it's not me. I just go wherever I guess. I think I just ran right into one, forgetting it was there! Uh, oh yeah, this is mine. Okay. Um, let's bring you over here. I don't think it's I think, I think that's far enough from blue guy. And then, okay, now I can egg on the blue guy, then we're fine. 
I was like, if no one's aggroing, we're not fine to bring you over there. But <laughs> as long as he's distracted, it shouldn't be close enough for magnet to move. <laughs> the explosions are unpredictable? Not really. The point is kind of figuring out how to predict. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I think we're gonna have bad luck again because me and Frey aren't getting any of them. <laughs> Shit. Okay, all the green ones are probably gonna have to go on this side to compensate. Okay, we're getting somewhere down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All far away. Uh. Good job, good job, good job. Good job making up whatever we had to do for it. <laughs> because it kinda got fun. Okay, we have to make sure these guys don't go near each other. They cannot go near each other. Or we are so fun. I'm gonna bring the red one over here. There we go.
Executing it. But we're, we're doing the dive bombs better now, which was our weakness last time. Mm -hmm. R? It might be R, yeah. I'm probably accidentally hitting R when I don't have the chat box engaged. That's probably what keeps happening. <laughs> uh, I think to disable that so that R doesn't make you run, like at all, ever. Not ever, 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 ever. One tank, I agree. I think a one tank strategy is gonna get us the win. I think we can do this. <laughs> Wait, this is synced, right? I mean, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, everyone's showing at synced. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, if we're doing this unsynced then we win, so help me, I'll cry. I don't wanna cheat this. Nah. Nah. I think we wouldn't be suffering so much if it was <laughs> if it was unsynced. Melt like butter, okay. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna take the red one this way. Keep it away from the blue. We don't want them getting magnetized. I barely dodged that one. <laughs> the music's so good, isn't it? better at these parts now so I can look at chat a little bit more but not not as much as usual still because this is really hard. <laughs> uh, oh I'm already here. Okay. That's okay, that's okay. Oh. Okay, that was that was okay. This time, this time, this time. <laughs> this time we got it. Oh. It takes us more tries to get through meteors without the markers, but when we do, it's not so bad. Because huh. it's easier to do dive bombs when we have less markers on the map. Mm. Yes, if anyone else needs to check on their food, I got 49 minutes. This is the one, maybe, who knows? We still have a little, little over an hour. <laughs> if we beat it last minute, we'll lose out on the cutscenes and we'll probably have to do it unsynced next stream. Um, just so that we can get to the cutscenes faster and finish it, but... now after doing this part so many times i know i still mess it up sometimes but like it feels comfy i just gotten quite used to it oh it's me mm. 
Shit. <laughs> I thought I had to run north. I had to wait for meteors where it was safe. <laughs> We're always playing in the game. To run north. That's after this. Okay, okay. We did this part okay. <laughs> Let's hope. Ah, yeah. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That wasn't bad. Okay. <laughs> we got this. We got this. Any rocks? Yes, there's some over here. Okay. Come here, buddy. Oh, boy. Come here. Eat the rocks, please. <gasps> please, we're so fucked if you don't. <laughs> Come here, there's a yummy. Delicious. It's a magma pie. No, go near the blue one! Oh shit, oh shit, he was so close to the blue one for a second, I got so scared. <laughs> okay, now let's go to four. Good job, Brinjar! <laughs> more damage than I used to in half I don't know why. I used to take almost around like half, but now I'm taking over half. Hmm. I'm just trying to figure it out. Maybe my placement is slightly. Like, oh! I forgot that was coming. <laughs> At least it didn't kill me, but holy shit. I just forgot it was coming entirely. I don't 
remember any red dots. Uh. As a red dot, just like if we Yeah, I don't I don't think I know what that means. Um Jimmy and Zoring dive bombs, the rest of us stay at I'm <laughs> spinning. That will need to be stacked up or we kill. Spinning red dot. Oh! There's a spinning red dot. A red dot above people's head is the stack. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Can we have a call out for red dot maybe in case someone doesn't see so we can run to a group? If there was one, I missed it, sorry. Okay, move to four, move to four, okay. Okay, move to four. Okay, got it! Thank you! Okay, that's something I actually didn't realize there was a stack thing at that point. So, that is good to know now. It's good to know now. It's one more strategy that we can hopefully get right this time. Hmm. Once we're all a little on the same page. I was not on the same page. <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. a bunch of unseen runs. Um. Same reward? Okay, okay. So for farming, it's probably better if we switch to doing like unseen, just for farming. Mm. But for doing it the first time. <laughs> Way more fun. Mm. Mobile tomes require sync though. Okay. Good to know. That must be why a lot of people just never do this one synced. Unless you want to enjoy the challenge. There's not really any benefits to it. Other than, like the challenge is the only benefit of doing sync over on sync. And for some people, that's not a benefit so much as a downside. So unless it's your cup of tea, it's not really worth doing.
markers for the meteors because it, it seems like we keep messing them up adjusting we should adjust between the pillars here and that's where i've been going to like relax mm. two here where i is now yeah <gasps> um so two yeah, yeah 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 that's what i was thinking like two would drop there and then in the middle and then we're here for the second one okay 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 uh that's what i thought i thought that was the distance but at least uh, this is what i thought i've been doing maybe i've been doing it wrong Mm. These are your standard optimal placements, and you have all the space to the sides for panicking. Okay. I, th I think that's what I've been doing? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think I think without markers, we're getting a little confused, but I'm down to try again. Hopefully, that's refreshing for everyone who might have been a little bit off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Wait, do we need to swap markers? Yeah, this this is what I think I've been doing. The um the way that we would normally have it. 
Mm. Okay, we're gonna give a minute for everyone to fix their, um, to fix their uh, macros and stuff. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a quick thing though, um. Mm -hmm. Do you guys feel confident about keeping, keeping on with one tank or should we switch back to two? I'm torn because we, we have been dying a lot earlier than before, but I think it's mostly because of messing up the meteors. I don't think it's because we're actually having the tank get killed, but that does seem to be happening a bit towards the end. Which is why I'm not sure if we might be better off if we, if we change that and go back to two, but... Mm. Yeah, you can't swap mid-fight, which is sucks. Mm. If we could swap markers mid-fight, it'd be a lot easier, but it was taken away. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Ah! No. I said no, because I think we still need um, to switch markers. Where are we good? Well, this is for a bit until people have it down. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. The practice of meteors. Good call, good call. <laughs> yeah, it really sucks that we can't switch them to fight. You know what? We might even be okay with dive bombs with this. If we can yell out, like, um, at least north or whatever, like, um... C, A, and B are still there. C, A, and B are still there on my map. So, if they're still on the map, then, in theory, we should be able to manage it. Mm. As long as those are okay spaces to drop, but huh. let's give it a go. Hmm. Food check as well. Oh. Partially my fault. Oh wait, I need the uh Vermin was the red one, okay? <laughs> These remind me of like the golem from Monster Rancher. They look so much alike. I can't remember his name. I think his name was literally Gollum. And that's why I can't remember. I'm like, what was the Gollum's name? It's just fucking Gollum. You have Suezel and Mochi with their fancy names, and they just have fucking Gollum. <laughs> Here, right? Kind of? 
Or are we changing that? Are we changing that? <laughs> Fuck! I thought, I thought they still went to the middle! I might have messed that up. I'm really sorry if I did. I, I, uh... No, I didn't! I didn't! We're alive! rain in a small spot. That's not a dot. I guess it's dot and half, but... <laughs> when you said dot, I imagine like a tiny little marker on someone's head, not that massive, massive chunk of whatever above your brain. close together. Okay. Uh. This is pain. <laughs> uh. What keeps happening here? Like, um, um, here. Is there a specific spot we keep getting too many at once? Ah, multiple and two. That sucks. Oh, bad luck. This is terrible, terrible luck. <laughs> that sucks. Uh -uh. Group one got unlucky, it seems that way. We have less than an hour. A few more runs and I might I might suggest switching back to two tanks just to give it a try. Mm. 
I do kind of want to run until maintenance, keeping on practicing, though. But even if we wouldn't have time to do the cutscenes, I want to see if we can beat it. <laughs> it is insanely hard. Uh -huh. We'll go to tank if you want. Let's give that a try after this movie. I just, I feel like as much as um, we're doing damage faster this time, I feel like we got down the 4% last time, but we haven't gotten down that low today. So I wonder if part of it dying later on, I know we're messing up mechanics, so that could be part of it. But I do wonder if we'd be better off with two tanks because it gives us a bit more of a safety net just in case, you know? I could have saved someone. I didn't! 
Gunbreakers, because it does a pretty decent DPS, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, one, two, three. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I shouldn't need to re repair things that quickly, so let's just jump back into it. <laughs> Put the die and die jump. <laughs> True. Oh, he's definitely put the die and die job. <laughs> <sighs> mm -hmm. oh. Okay. That's true. We had good positioning that time. Frey made a good point. Mm. Until we wiped, we were doing really, really good. Mm. Oh, it's one of your best to play as. Good. Then maybe we'll have a good chance this time. Maybe I messed it up though. Mm. Food buff! Good call, I got 25 minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna have one more now so they don't forget later. Okay. What? Oh. Do you ready to check? I type ready to check now. Alright. I think if we try, I'll have always. Wait! A uh, Bringer still a main tank, or is Minerva? We should know that before we start. Which one of these is gonna be the main tank? <laughs> Just so we know how to um how to act around. Okay, okay, cool. I'm good. Once the markers are there. Bryn has the tank stands. Then we are good. Is that what this... No? I don't know how to tell if someone has it. Mm. All right, let's go! Maybe this is the run, maybe this is the run. As soon as we have two tanks, maybe we'll wreck it. Who knows? I feel like we, we were doing it faster with more DPS though, so I don't know. I'm almost tempted to say sacrifice the second tank for like another healer. <laughs> but I feel like then we 
them be doing enough damage. We would have extra people to heal, but... As soon as I see Chariot, I'm just gonna immediately go for the group. I don't know why I keep thinking I have to split off. That's the habit I gotta break, because it's wrong! It's just inherently wrong! <laughs> Golem's time is so chill. It's just like this eerie pulse rather than music. I kind of like it. But it's very unexpected for what you'd think like a big thing like this would have. But then it gets really intense like this. Isn't it? We just gotta get the right one. Exactly. We just haven't gotten there. Don't forget to back up, Frozen. Yeah. macros someday. I feel like they're probably pretty useful. Although I don't know how useful macros are um, if you're playing with controller. Because I feel like it would be really hard for me to do that for anyone. Mm. Red Prey! <laughs> Extremely forging hard. That's kind of what I figured.
Not the full one, but... <laughs> Electric got dropped on melee. Ah. Uh, one second. Um, give me a sec. Having... Having issues with... Uh, targeting not working. Does nothing. Nothing. When I pressed it. Okay, now it's working. Mm. We got almost 30 minutes! Can we do it? <laughs> uh, mm, mm. Feel better about it as Gunbreaker? That's good! Mm. 35 through. Mm -hmm. Bob the Builder. It's, it's like Bob the Builder except Ham the Raider. How does that even go? Pam the Raider, Pam the Raider. I don't know any of the song. I just know there's like this one like, like Bob the Builder. <laughs> okay. Try to debuff and stuff. Because at, at the end, we start panicking and then we forget what we're doing. And that's why we keep getting thrown off of it. Huh. If we don't beat it today, though, that's okay. We can come back to it another day. I'm thinking if we come back to it, um, I'll, I'll probably figure out. We'll, we'll figure it out when we get there. If we have to come back to it, we'll, we'll plan how and when to do that when it comes to it. It, it will have to be in a couple weeks, unfortunately. I was hoping to get it done before I travel, but it is what it is if we don't get it done today. We'll practice a bit. I'll practice off stream. Mm -hmm. I'm just feeling like when the shock hits, everyone knows about the tank. Yeah, I feel like having two having two tanks now is a little easier because if one tank gets smacked. Then we have at least a backup, which is making a decent difference, I think. I'm gonna... Oh. You get, no, you didn't get close enough to eat it. Off-stream practice be the kill? No. For off-stream practice, we wouldn't actually kill it. Like, once it gets low enough, we would quit. You know? Oh, I gotta go to sleep! I don't want to beat it off-stream. That's, like, so anticlimactic, you know? <laughs> huh. I think we're having bad luck this turn, because me and Frey haven't had anything. Shit. Shit.
Okay, good. This is where I lost targeting last time. I was like so healthy. If I lose it again here, I will actually cry.
<laughs> We're gonna check. We don't have. We don't have a lot of time. But I think. I think after that run, maybe maybe this one we can do it. Maybe this one we can do it. Uh, should I pray then? Maybe. But we also don't have a lot of time. Mm. Oh, your cat's attacking me. Understandable. Mm. Mm, the one percent pain. Hey, it's me. That is true. I can focus target, but I can't figure out how to ever do it. Like I, I sometimes, I wanna, I wanna focus target, but I can't, I can't figure it out. I got it once, and then every other time I wanted to do it, I just messed up. <laughs> So I'm kind of relying on everyone else to say 1%. It's a 1% wipe. It's such a thing. <laughs> okay, 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 I will admit, at that point, I started panicking so hard that I wasn't even paying attention to the mechanics anymore. <laughs> I was panicking, pushing buttons. <laughs> I can't believe we got 1 fucking percent. That's so bad. Cause I was reading a bunch of guides um, online, like a bunch of text ones to try to prepare for it as well, just to get like other points of view. And a lot of people were saying that this raid took them weeks to get down, like weeks of regular reading. So the fact that we can get into 1% in two streams isn't bad. I know there's obviously gonna be people who can do it way faster, especially using voice chat or whatever. But I don't think we're doing bad at all, to be honest. <laughs> It was probably my bad. When I when I got the dive bomb, I wasn't prepared. Because I, I we survived the other round, I think. And then this one came and I was like, I don't know if I'm first or second, so I don't know where to go. <laughs> All I knew was I had a dive bomb. So I just saw it above my head and I was like, ah. <laughs> I just ran away from people. <laughs> I could have run to the worst spot on the whole map for all I know. We haven't even gotten to it anymore. We just keep killing it so fast. Oh, actually. 
Don't forget to check your game ups here. If we do, if we do have to do it in a couple weeks, maybe I can try to be brave and use voice chat by then, and then we can do that. I'll see what I can do. If I can practice with the group a bit off stream, it might have a little bit of an easier time. when we get kicked out, as long as everyone's okay with that. <laughs> Just in case some miracle we can get it done. Mm. I'm not, I still feel happy about the progress we made today, even if we don't get it in. We made, we got it down to one, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna practice past 3% though. If we do it off stream, I don't wanna, anytime we get to 3%, I wanna stop. So we can like um, make sure we don't actually kill it. Where I thought was safe was like all of a sudden not. <laughs> This run will be it. We can hope so. I hope this run is either it or we die really early because that's about all we have time for. <laughs> we'll have time for another run if we fuck this one up so badly. But... Oh, oh shit, 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 No! Okay, uh. Okay, good. Oh, little fuse. That was a close call. No meteors left anywhere else, we're good. Yeah, 
it just got the bottom was just too big for this run. <laughs> We're like, no. Mm -hmm. As soon as you have a giant bottom, it's kind of it's kind of hopeless. It's not gonna happen, you know. <laughs> Who knows? This could be a clutch victory in our very last run. Mm -hmm. I think we have time for one more if we do like if we die around the same point. But if we die at near the very end, probably not. Cause then we might just get to like 1% and then have to like get kicked out. <laughs> that would feel bad. Hmm. There must be a marker for Chariot and I just never had it. Cause I, I always see everyone move up and then one person run away. But I don't think I've ever had anything on my head where I had to run away at that point. I don't think there's any around here. Found it. Look. <laughs> that was bad. Mm. Uh, no one's fighting the blue guy? Okay, yeah. Nyata, bring him over to that rock if you can. Yeah, there. Okay. for another run. <laughs> I say I did say I hope we die around the same point if we're doomed to die. <laughs> Joey, thank you for the super. We ain't given up yet. We have time to try again. Huh. This is the one maybe who knows. Okay. Um, uh, uh. Who is getting blue? Uh, I think usually tank goes for blue. Nasa, can you keep an eye on blue and make sure someone grabs it? Unless you're grabbing um, green. I always grab red. Just to make sure it's covered. Mm. I, oh wait, Nasa's a healer though. So maybe not. Um, I thought she was one of the tanks for some reason. Maybe Minerva. Minerva can go after blue, maybe. Uh. Oh, red duck loop, red duck loop. I missed that, sorry. I was trying to focus on everything else happening, then I missed that. Uh. I was trying to think about, like, what we can do to improve over last time. <laughs> while, while trying to think how we can prevent the golems, I forgot what was going on in the present. Okay, okay, Rain will get it. Rain will get it. Rain will get the blue one. This might be why we've had trouble at this part a number of times. Probably we all thought somebody else was taking blue, and in turn, we didn't really have any dedicated people doing blue. I could be wrong on that, because I've always focused on red, so I haven't really been seeing what's going on. Whoa! I didn't know there was a meteor drop there. 
Where's Red? Okay. There we go. There's a lot of meteors here. I gotta make sure it doesn't eat four of them. Easier time 
if I didn't have quite as much clutter on screen. <laughs> another one after this because this is already we might get kicked out in the middle of it <laughs> i'm glad we got to try again though i think um we're trying a third time i will go back to the original group i'm gonna try to find a time oh i'm really really happy we're able to step in Zena. but after the rest of us went through for five hours i really want to try to see if we can finish it with the og group um it's gonna have to be when i'm back though unfortunately maybe we can combine it with the start of the next part of coil like, we keep doing this, and then after we do this, we can do the rest of coils, but not start the last turn. The last turn I'll save for its own stream, because I'm assuming it's going to be a fresh hell that we've never experienced. We have two healers. 
They just have to bring people back before they die, which is easier said than done. <laughs> you got it! You got it! You got this! You don't got this! We have a tank! We have Bryn Jar. It's up, it's up to you, Bryn Jar. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I think maintenance is in one minute. We shouldn't really start again. Mm. Okay, let's take a picture. You know what? Uh, let's take a picture right here so we're not close enough to start the battle. Let's dance. Assert dominance. Assert dominance! Dance! <laughs> I'm a Manderville dance. Assert my fucking dominance! On this little shit! <laughs> if we're not gonna beat it, we're at least gonna get a dance full. We're at least having a dance party. <laughs> at least we get this out of it. We can just dance here and, and chill. Until we get totally wrecked. <laughs> I got a really bad photo of us, it's great. <laughs> Stunning! I'll make sure to put it on the Discord. It'll be nice and beautiful. Oh. Mm mm mm. You call it attempt. That's the full name, just <laughs> attempt. The file name is attempt. <laughs> we made an attempt! Um. I'm, I don't mind getting kicked out for maintenance. Um, I kind of want to get my cactus pots, but I also kind of think it's fun to chill here. I don't know. We will now be shutting down the servers for all worlds. You have to kick me out! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep dancing in front of Neil, Neil Deuce Darnus and, and, you know, taunting him with my, with my wiggly ass. This this guy. Next time we'll get it. <laughs> I like how I just stared at me shamefully. <laughs> oh yeah, we will not go quietly. Exactly, Bringer. We will not go quietly. <laughs> I I kind of didn't think we'd get it in two hours, but you know I thought it would have been really epic if we did get it in two hours. So I'm glad that we got to try. Even if it didn't work out, that was kind of fun. Um, that's okay. Um, but you know what? I think that um, if we come back to it in a few weeks, that does give us time to practice. I am going to see about trying to be brave. If I can be brave and get on voice chat for it, it might, it might be a little bit easier for us to succeed. So, I will see what I can do, at least off-stream practice. If I'm not comfortable using voice chat on-stream with everyone, I'll at least make sure to get us off-stream a bit with it so that we can practice. Um, because I think, I think we do have the potential. It's just a matter of we have to get the run. But we've gotten so close. 1%, guys! 1%! That's amazing. I'm really happy. Uh. Uh. Make a private, yeah, it'll, it'll be a private voice chat for the Raiders if I practice. I'll set up one that only the Raiders can see temporarily. Uh, um, and I, I do think for that one too, um, it'll be, it'll be fun. We'll practice a bit, but I'll be away, so I'm not gonna stream this game while I'm away anyway. So while we practice, we can be a bit more chill, and I can ask questions in live time a bit easier about certain debuffs, because it is, it is hard for me on controller to read them, and sometimes I can't remember in the moment. Um, but I remember a lot when I'm told out loud things, so hopefully we can get it in a little better. That's true, we did better today than a few days ago. Getting it to 1% was really, really good. Huh. Plus, can always mute the mic just so he doesn't hear us, but, um... The thing is, though, if I... My worry... I, I don't do well <laughs> interacting with a lot of people or even, like, any people. <laughs> so... It's like, if I hear a bunch of people yelling at me when I mess up, it's, it's not gonna make me understand how I'm messing up. It's gonna make me cry. <laughs> I'll just be in voice chat sobbing while we try to do the raid, and that's like... <laughs> that's like not productive. <laughs> For practice, it's okay. 
if I end up crying for practice, no one's gonna care. But if I end up just crying on stream while we try, that's like the worst stream ever, so. <laughs> I would be good. If the boss didn't have that self, I know we would have beat it if it didn't have the self heal. God damn it! But it's so close. Hmm. But um, refuse to yell over Reaper, but that's thing I panic yell. I don't think people would yell on purpose. I'm the only one left. Where's my ass still here? Where is my ass? Dead on the ground. This is this is this is me. Um, dramatically. Dramatically serenading Nayasa into death. Everyone else has already left. <laughs> and I'm also left. <sighs> it kicked me too. Uh, I have one request for everyone in chat. Type a big ol' F. <laughs> just, just type a big ol' F. <laughs> F for all of us. F for all of us. We did our best, man. <laughs> that was fun though. That was really, really fun. We did our best and I feel like I feel like we've gotten our skills better. Um Also Suzu! Are you interested in raiding at all? Because I've been debating sometime in the future. Um for for at least one raid in the future. I think it'd be fun to try to have a collab. Um, but I don't, I don't know when or if, but at some point, at some point, I think it'll be really fun. I don't know when though. <laughs> I'm still in a realm reborn. I can't do much. <laughs> but someday. <laughs> but also you don't have to answer publicly if you don't want. You can always send me a DM saying no if you're not interested or whatever. <laughs> no pressure to answer right now or in chat. Um, definitely interesting. I'll have to try to think of something and reach out then. uh uh Cause I feel like it'd be it'd be fun to try at some point after I get a little more confidence with raiding. <laughs> this is my second raid ever, other than the Alliance raid in the Crystal Towers. Um, the only other thing I've done was the first set of coils. Thank you, Joey, for the super F. <laughs> but that was fun. That was fun. I had a lot of fun so far. What time zone? Everyone's a different time zone. We're just trying to work around each other. But um. Now that we got booted from um, the game, I do want to look a bit into the patches. I don't think it's going to be ported to Switch, Blue Cristallo. I don't think the Switch could handle this game. <laughs> I ap apologize if there are any other raids or anything or any gifted members that I missed as well. Um, I really wanted to pay as much attention to the raid as I could so that, yeah, now it's A Realm Under Maintenance. Have you heard of the new expansion, A Realm Under Maintenance? It's a unique one, because instead of putting in thousands of hours, you put in none. You're not allowed to play. <laughs> um, yeah, I have to defeat the server. But I have to hop on a flight in... I have to go to the airport in about six hours. I do want to do a bit of music and talking about the new patch. But I need a bit of a break after the focus mode. I just need a few minutes. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna still talk and hang out. Don't worry, I'm not ending the stream. Um, yeah, you grab your maintenance, you can play up to level zero. But I need a minute to go refresh my drink. And yeah, but thank you again so much to everyone who joined. Um, we'll see if Kit is back on for the next one. If not, I'd love to have you back, Sana. Um, because I'd love to have the same people um, join as much as possible, just so that, um, we can have, you know, everyone who worked hard so far can feel like they all succeeded together once we get that success. Like Brandon said earlier, huh, but we just hard and know it's notoriously difficult. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I've been reading a lot about how hard it is. We've only been trying for two streams so far, and today was only two hours, so I'm not discouraged at all. In fact, the only thing discouraging me is that maintenance is happening because I want to keep going! <laughs> I want to do it again! But we cannot. <laughs> so, that's okay, that's okay. Uh. Uh -huh. uh -uh -uh. Funny how the other raids like Alexander, Omega, and Pandemonium are all a lot easier compared to Quiz. Yeah! I've heard that, Joey. I've heard that a lot of people say the later ones are are actually easier compared to this. I think it's because this one's so disorganized. 
like a lot of it is just not straightforward and it gets really confusing in the moment because everything is kind of weird <laughs> apparently it's a little easier to know what's happening in future ones hmm so um i feel like finishing the coils off is gonna give us a really strong start into heaven's word though um so i'm quite excited um i'm excited to do this one and get into more of the coils after i get back i don't really want to do the raiding while i'm staying um near Akka because i don't really want to do the raids from my laptop where i'm staying and i don't want to do the raids from Akka's place because that's fucking rude of me <laughs> so um unless i can i wonder if i can borrow a monitor from someone then i can maybe do it from the laptop um, but I think, I think I'd probably rather just wait till I'm here and comfy, you know? So it'll probably be a couple weeks, but I will practice in the meantime, off stream. Um, when the final turn of the last coils came out, only 50 teams had beaten it after a month. <laughs> we're so fucked for that one, aren't we? But what we might have to do for that one is have it be like a Saturday thing every week for a while until we beat it, if it's gonna be more than one day. <laughs> uh, uh, but anyway, uh, the reason... Is Coils is the first set of raids the team made and a lot of mechanics were based on other games. As the devs made more, they improved them to be more forgiving since so they had story content. Ah, that makes sense. This was this at the time was meant to be like end game level challenging, right? And then um more, more came out later, of course. But at the time, this was it. This was it. Like this was the hard shit. This was the the final boss type thing. Mm. So that makes sense. Mm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, I'm gonna take a minute to finish my drink, go get another drink, and then we're gonna look into the new patch, talk about some of the stuff coming up, and then we'll talk about what we wanna do. Maybe we could draw Grahatia, maybe we could do some art, or no, some art, do some flute from the game, maybe we could sing from the game. I'm probably gonna go another two hours or so. Um, so don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. We're still gonna do stuff related to the game. We just can't play it, obviously, because we're kicked, but we'll do stuff related. Uh, uh, and hold on, let me make sure that my clips are here. Um, I'm gonna be back in a few minutes. There's probably gonna be a lot of clips from Coils, I'm not gonna lie. I'll be back in a few. If anyone comes and is like, oh no, I missed it, just let them know, I'll just be right back. Jen, it's me! I don't remember where to go! Fuck, 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 fuck! Or go there if we have media. Oh god, sorry! My controller! My controller made me run! Ah! Controller drift! Controller drift! Controller drift! Controller drift! Fuck! Can we just wipe and restart? Hold on! Controller drift! Ah! Oh, let's go. I'm oh, sorry, I was forgetting to use them books. So it's not good. <gasps> the brain guy's here! What the? Oh no! Ah! We're fucked. <laughs> attempt when I was playing uh, Monster Hunter Rise. Um, I tried making Dongo and I, I showed them a photo and it was it was real bad. <laughs> it tasted good but it looked real bad. It was like flat. It looked like um like I don't know. Actually I do know. You know you know that okay this is this is like really yabe but I don't know how else to describe it. Um you know the food that's just like fish sperm? Um, that's, that's what my, my dango looks like. <laughs> the little tiny flat blobs. <laughs> it, it was, it was not good. Dango is not supposed to look like that.
if well, you know what they say, guys. Thick thighs save lives. For now, they're saving the life of the street. <laughs> Thick thighs actually do save lives, guys. And that's the catch. If you ever stuck in a room with bad reverb and need to use a microphone, wrap your microphone in your thighs. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. <laughs> Because if, if you watch people being like, Whoa, what's up, guys? Today is my stream. Let's go. So this is me with my voice changer. This is my real voice. Hold on. This is me right here. Yes. And it sounds like the middle of my right here. Yes, with your head. This is... This is me right here, Scott. This year, I personally, I was a voice changer because I knew that people would appreciate me using this for a new stream. It's not your own ears. That's why I use a voice changer personally. Mm -hmm. by bribing people with photos of feet. If an armpit fart stream will get me 50k, you know what? That'd be a fair trade. <laughs> Maybe. I will I will consider doing one if we get 50k. When we get closer, maybe we can make a countdown if I decide that I'm gonna actually do that. <laughs> Clipping for future reference, go ahead. Spam it everywhere. Everyone will give me 50k so that we can do it. <laughs> Hi! My name is Takimi Lu and I'm a shy main in Beach Room as I probably fly on Anime Core. Nice to meet you, Degenerates! Okay. I'm gonna have to go through my... I think I have to reset the clip thing, to be honest. It keeps showing a few that I deleted and I don't know why it keeps showing them. Huh? Aww. Uh -huh. Anyway, I'm going to pull up some stuff so we can we can talk about the um the patch a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because I haven't actually looked into it yet, so I don't know what's coming with it. But it'll be interesting to learn a little bit. Mm. I'm going to hide the game because, you know, it's kind of useless now. <laughs> but that was really fun. Mm. I'm, glad, I'm glad that we've been able to do so much progress with the rating because... I, I think it has been really, really great. It, it's been a really, I, I, what's the word? An experience that I'm honestly really grateful for because especially trying to do it synced, I don't think I would ever have an opportunity to do that all, like if I wasn't a streamer. <laughs> I would have to find dedicated groups who are probably way more intense than me and wouldn't want to play like the chill level that I do, but it's fun like this. <laughs> yeah, I do. I saw on Discord. I followed up um, about if I should finish them before 2.5, which really sucks, unfortunately. Because I was hoping to have a big break between parts of the coils. Just because it's it's a lot all at once. I don't want my channel to be like only a rating channel. Because I don't always do hardcore stuff like that all the time. And I don't want to set up like false expectations. <laughs> but... We'll probably finish this one and then um, maybe get some of the easier ones in the last part knocked out. And then we can do a break with some Hildebrand. I don't want to go back to MSQ until we finish them though. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You'd be surprised how many will actually try Content Synced. I don't know a lot of people that play though. So even if I wasn't a streamer, like I don't think I'd be able to find I don't think I'd be able to find people to play with. I don't think I'd want to use public forums. It's not... 
I'm a wimp. That's too difficult. That's too difficult, people. I can confirm you wanted to do coil sync for ages. Heard you were doing it. And it's like, oh, I uh, hope there ends up being a spot open. I'm glad you're able to join, Lynn. I hope you're having fun with it. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I know it's I know it's been a challenge, but I I'm enjoying it. I hope you are. Uh huh. It does happen from time to time. Um, fun to go through on occasion on min eye level. No echo sinks. I feel like that could be fun off stream. I don't know if I want to go quite that extreme on stream. I feel like that would be a little much. Um. I'm just updating the Twitch title so people don't think I'm raiding when it's literally down. <laughs> Alexander and Heaven's Ward would be a lot easier and shorter. I, I think that would have been... If I never did the coils, I think that Alexander and Heaven's Ward probably would have felt very hard to me. But because I've done the coils, it's been making a lot of other stuff feel easier. Like, I remember after Twin Tanya, um, some of the other trials and stuff felt quite easy. I don't think I've I've had anything feel like I've had ones where I've wiped a number of times, but other than this fight now and like the turn before it, I don't think I've had anything that made me genuinely like, wow, can I even do this? Since um, Twin Tanya, other than this, mm -hmm. what is the note? It's six point three that's coming out, right? Um, six point three patch notes. Let's see what we can look at and learn. Mm. Mm -mm. No, we're in pain. I'm sorry, Flame. I'm sorry to everyone who came back today, hoping we could clear it in two hours. I feel like we were doing quite a bit worse in the beginning. I think um, a few notes that we should remember for next time. The current the current markers seem to be more important than the markers for the dive bombs. I think because we were dying quite a bit from meteors. Like I think we died more from meteors than from dive bombs today. Um, so having the markers for meteors, as long as we can remember with the compass where to go, I think that was going better for us overall. Mm. Cause once we changed the markers, we weren't dying nearly as many times at the golems, only when there was a bit of confusion as to who was picking up what. Mm. Which we can probably practice a little easier if we do have voice chat, I think. Mm. That's true. A big problem right now is people not paying close enough attention to debuffs. And that's not an accusation, because it's people. It's me. <laughs> not only me, though. It wouldn't just be me. But it, I'm definitely a part of it. My problem is I keep mixing up some of the debuffs. I can't remember which is electric, which is post-electric. They keep confusing me a little bit. So I need to... I need to really, really make like, I'm gonna print them out and make a sticky note for the debuffs. I'm gonna print them out and t tape them to my monitor. <laughs> then I can't mix them up. Mm -hmm. I think, I think honestly, that's what it's gonna come down to for me. <laughs> as pathetic as that is, print out the visuals of the debuffs and put them on my monitor. That's a foolproof way to not fucking die. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Hold on, I'm pulling up the patch notes. I'm gonna have to be really careful um, going through so I don't see too many spoilers, but... It should be decently easy to know if something is a spoiler and avoid it. Hold on, I'm just setting it up. It's taking a bit. chat with you guys a bit more <laughs> now that we're not so crushed for time hi Aaron C and Brad in the race cross server we have a link show uh -huh. can't go wrong with sticky notes exactly that's true uh -huh. it's true charging pandemonium's on um, five savage with randoms we didn't clear after an hour in the party after the party disbanded no you haven't tried doing any high-end content since joy keep in mind you can try enjoying for maybe the next coil if you're interested although it, it sounds like from what you were saying earlier you're happy that you're not a part of this one you can always join as dps or tank if you're a little too nervous to join as healer hmm. mm -mm -mm. um just keep in mind, um, there's going to be some spoilers indirectly in the patch notes, so I'm going to ignore anything that says 6.0. I'm not really going to look into it much. I'm going to be careful what I read. Mm. 
playable content. You can now dive! And up for Lanasia! Whoa! Approaching the water will allow players to swim and diving will also become possible. Didn't you say I have to get to Stormblood before I can dive though? Or was it Stormblood or was it Shadowbringers? I think I need to get further before I can dive. But that's, that is actually really exciting for me because in any video game with water, one of my favorite things to do, Shad, ah, uh, okay, it is Stormblood, okay. One of my favorite things to do in games with water is to go underwater and explore. And honestly, this looks beautiful. With all the ruins under the water. Mm. Upper Lanasea is also a really interesting place. There's a lot of cool stuff going on there. So I think it's really, really fascinating that you're gonna be able to go underground there. That's just exciting for me. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Of course, be good for final coil raids as well, but super understand wanting to swap in a new group. But I do prioritize people who've never cleared it synced that want to try. So, Lift Jungle, thank you for the raid. So don't worry, if you come back, I'll try to prioritize. Unless we have over eight. If we have over, if we have over seven, sorry, over seven people who've never done it before, then it's gonna come down to I have to, I have to pick, you know. <laughs> I said, Lamb Devil, thank you for the raid! Now that we're out, now that we are not mid-game, let me give you a shout out real quick. And if you want a song request as well, I'm more than happy to sing something for you. Preferably if it's related to Final Fantasy in some way though, even if that means near music, because it's related. <laughs> oh, shout out clip. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, hold on, I have them hidden. Oh, that might be a so spoiler. Much We're doing Wait, good. Yeah, I'm gonna spoil. I'm gonna hide it again. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, though. But I didn't recognize that, so I'm gonna panic hide it. <laughs> but thing is, so much. I'm still, I'm still in a realm reborn. You see, so anything that I don't recognize, I just panic hide the clip immediately. <laughs> But I appreciate the raid. Thank you so much. Um, make sure to go support Lamp Devil's channel as well, yeah? And let's go back to you looking at the notes. See if there's anything interesting coming up. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. It was pretty flashy. I didn't know what the fuck was happening. So don't worry, I wasn't spoiled at all. I don't understand what the fuck that was. <laughs> By the time I get there, I'm not gonna know. Also, Sumika Hanazio, welcome, hello! Plus, uh, I'm gonna skip that because it says 6.0. I don't want to know. Uh, character portraits have been implemented for the bat for battle dialogue during means um, MSQ. Uh, oh wow, really? Wait. Oh, from from three. <laughs> then I guess it's fine. Uh, anyway, this thing I don't know what that is. I'm gonna skip it. Skip it. I'm like I'm like blurred. Do you guys know what I mean by like going cross-eyed to blur your eyes? I'm like going cross-eyed to like blur my eyes through sections that say six so that I don't see them. <laughs> I am excited. <gasps> Have you guys found any copies of the new song yet? Has anyone been able to find the new song? Listen, no Stomo! Chris Wathie, welcome! Um, if you guys have found the new song without, um, without yelling in it or whatever, I'd really like to listen to it, like right now. If anyone is able to post it on the Discord. Uh, because I'd really like to, I'd really like to listen to it and do a reaction. Because I remember hearing fragments of it in weird quality with voices over it, and it kind of sounded almost like Calafina, and I was really enjoying it. Hmm. There's a new, a new raid song, I think. Hmm. I think it's from a raid anyway. There's a song that sounds really beautiful. Hmm. Quality of life updates are amazing. That's exciting. Because quality of life is always a good thing. Uh. It won't be out until tomorrow. I know, I think that some people have listened to the song online though. Like I think Scream, no Scream wasn't out before the patch, was it? <laughs> I think it was, but it was like promoted as trailer song. Unless I'm thinking as, oh no, I'm thinking of In the Balance. In the Balance I think might've been leaked or something. Cause I think I heard it before the patch came out and literally sang it while the patch was being like updated. <laughs> huh. mm -mm. Oh, this is for everyone. An icon will now be displayed on the map for the entrance to the following duties. That's interesting. Palace of the Dead. Heaven on High. Is Heaven on High something way later? I haven't heard of that one. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. And the balance is a nice track. Life. That's one of my favorites. I actually think there may be two new vocal, two new vocal songs. Because you listen to the trailer again with headphones, you hear vocals and it sounded like a different song. 
Can you post the song again on Discord, Brandon, and tag me? I want to listen to it, um, even if there's voices over it. Preferably Japanese, so that I won't understand quite as much. <laughs> I want to listen to it in a bit after we get through this. Uh, I'm gonna. T I, I do spoil music for myself because I want to. Other than close the distance, I, I, I'm not spoiling that one. For, I've heard. I've heard. I don't want to do that. <laughs> um, I want to learn the songs. I actually kind of want to start trying to learn songs really, really early. Mm. Pam's gonna be eating good food music. I'm excited! Mm -mm. I won't be able to grab it from YouTube chat though. If you're able to put it on Discord, um, Josh in the Final Fantasy thread. Um, just cause for, um, the way I'm reading YouTube chat, the link's like partially cut out. <laughs> uh, so field operations. Okay. So it's like a bunch of stuff. You'll have entrance icons. That's pretty helpful. Uh, two. When the location or destination of a quest is not in a city or the open field, a quest icon will now display on the map, indicating the path to reach it. Oh, showing the path is also pretty helpful. Oh, it says only 6.1 is supported. Then that's... I feel betrayed and lied to. You said 2.x. But then... Well, maybe it only means up to that. I don't know. I feel like I've been bamboozled either way. <laughs> huh. mm -mm -mm. The music while playing the 6.3 trailer Isn't that what I asked for though? The 6.3 trailer music That's literally what I asked for <laughs> I know it's a spoiler As long as As long as like Like in the balance Out of context For me at this point Is not a spoiler As long as the trailer music Out of context Is not so much a spoiler And I'm just gonna enjoy the song As a banger Then that's fine to me, that's not a spoiler. Mm. Uh, first and foremost, that's not well. Even told not to bother with macros on controller because the response is slower than keyboard. Yeah, that's why I've never really bothered learning it. Because I can switch to keyboard, but going back and forth takes more time than it's worth in the middle of a battle, to be honest. As long as the screen is hidden, you should be all right. Then perfect, perfect. Uh. Um, when the location or destination of a quest is not in the city... Um, oh, yeah, it has to reach it. Okay, um... It'll now be possible to reach quests in unique areas by following the quest icon on the map. That's pretty helpful. Um, the Chronicles of a New Era quest, but I hardly know her! And the gift of Archmagus will no longer be available! What? Did I already do that? Or is that something that I'll never get to experience now? Also, Lamb Devil, welcome on YouTube! I'm starting to feel like I got- I just got content. Oh, they're way back, so I should have already done them, I hope so. I hope they weren't ripped out of my hands. Oh yeah, they were Crystal Tower ones. Now that you say it, they sound familiar. Okay, okay, okay. I've already done them then, we're good. Oh, phew! <laughs> I'm glad I got to do them before they were removed. Um, uh, two okay. Um, certain quests previously classified as side quests in the journal have been further separated into the following categories. Okay, okay, okay. So some of them now are put into Hildebrand or Chronicles of Light or Weapon Enhancement or Side Story. They're not considered journal now, I guess. Interesting. Also, I have to They're needed for the Heavensward Relic. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I'm really excited for Heavensward. I don't know if we're going to get there as early as I wanted um, simply because I have to travel now. And something else came up, so I might actually have to travel again in February. And that, that was not something I ever expected, so my brain is still, like, thrown for a loop and confused. <laughs> not, not necessarily in a bad way, I just, like, don't know how to react. <laughs> and, um, um, and now I have to figure out maintenance, and the coils are taking longer than expected. I really wanted to get to Heaven's Word in winter, but if we don't, we don't. Um, it is what it is. Mmm. So okay, so I forgot to say hi earlier, but hello. Try to say hi to people now that it's a bit slower. So game number 4612, hello. Uh-uh. They weren't really interesting for lore. Just repeatable. Ah, okay. I guess people don't want them then. Hmm. Boss, how will I know when you're going to try again for the coil fight? I can't give you an estimate. You'll have to follow the channel. Like and subscribe. <laughs> That's the only way you'll get to find out. Because I don't have an estimate yet when I'm going to be able to come back. It's going to be a while. Hmm. Hmm. I'll also put in the Final Fantasy XIV thread on Discord because I want to try to get, um, I want to try to get everyone back if we can. Mm -hmm. So Golden Griffin, hello! I know we were trying to beat turn nine of the coils. I'm 
so bummed that we ran out of time. Such a bummer. Also, I hope you have fun beating ARR. Hmm. Mm -mm. They take out precious mini map space. That's also fair. Mm -mm -mm. Deep dungeon quests will be classified as records of unusual endeavors. I don't actually know what that means. Also, Golden Griffin, thank you for the follow. Um, fates. In the fates, steel rain, Odin's level will be fixed at 50. Okay. I don't remember what that was before, but <laughs> it means something to some of you guys. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, grand and free company changes. Okay, this this is kind of relevant. Um, new charge symbol options have been added to the PvP team quests. I still want to use a crown for us because you know my little crown on my head. It makes me feel happy. <laughs> I feel like the crown is good for us. Deep dungeon is palace of the dead. There's another one though, isn't there? There's like the heaven one or something. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. New craftable items have been added to the company workshop. It doesn't say what they are though, so we're gonna have to look into those later, I guess. Mm. But that's cool. More craftable items is pretty cool. Heaven on high and a new one coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming those ones are in later patches though. I won't be able to access them for a while. Palace of the Dead is still really fun though. I want to go back to that one day and try to get even further. Hmm. The following additions and adjustments have been made to subaquatic voyages. Um, new areas have been added. What is a subaquatic voyage? Is that like you go on a fishing boat but you go diving? What is this? It says 2.x, so I should be able to do this now in theory. Come in your workshop. Oh, is that when you send in the submarine? It says new area, so I guess you I guess you select an area when you send out the submarine. For some reason I thought this meant I could actually go to new areas, and I was like, yo, new areas. <laughs> but it's more you send it out, isn't it? Okay, okay, okay. I understand now. It's 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 something I was aware of. I just the title confused me. <laughs> hmm. Obscure loot is nice though. Housing! This is a big one that I know a lot of people are decently, decently curious about. Um, wards 25 through 30 have been added to all residential districts. So that means there's gonna be a lot more wards coming out. So if you're trying to get a personal house and you don't have one yet, or if you're trying to get a house for your company, now is the time! I'm actually thinking of trying to get a personal house, uh, just a small one. But I'm also debating waiting till Ishgard because I feel like I'd like to have a small house in Ishgard. Um, but I also don't know if I should have a house where I can't even find the time to decorate my fucking room. <laughs> I should probably just grab an apartment if I want another one. Leave them to people who have more time so I'm not an asshole. <laughs> I have the free company one. That's already nice. Um, I could try to switch up for a mansion though. So it's probably gonna depend if you guys want me to try to um, upgrade to a mansion, put in a gamble. Maybe we can try to get a mansion. But I also, I also don't necessarily feel like the one we have is bad for the size that we have right now. I feel like it's probably okay. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Also, hi that guy. Um, full notes out are still prelims. I'm not sure. I think they're probably full notes where it's coming out in a number of hours at this point, though. Mm. Also, Reader Barrage, welcome. You can make a stream on decorating the house alone. I've done that a few times, but you know, it tends to it tends to be a little slower, so people aren't as interested. So I don't know if I'll do it again, but <laughs> it was fun while trying. Mm -hmm. But I'd rather stream things that people are more interested in and story progress if it's not something people really care about. Mm hmm. Also, six words are gonna be added. Plots in all new words are available for purchase via the lottery. Apartments have also been added. Mm hmm. But I feel like there's always enough apartments, so it's not really the big deal. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. So the lottery entry period, put this in your calendars. Also, Alexi, bye, goodbye, thanks for stopping by. Um, if, you're, if you wanna look at the new lottery, the lottery entry period, it starts Sunday, 15th of January, at 15 o'clock GMT, that's 3 p.m. GMT, or 16th of January, at 2 o'clock AEDT. I don't know what time that is. I don't know what time zone that is, I guess. So keep in mind those dates and times if you're looking to have the lottery. So Giant Chisel, hello! And Hope is there, hello! 
what happening? We're just looking into stuff from the past because I haven't had a lot of time to look up um, what's coming yet. Hmm. Um, unrestricted plots have been added to housing classifications. So when entering the lottery for an unrestricted plot, you may choose free company or private plot. I like that. I like having more variety. Mm. Because sometimes you want it for free company, sometimes you want it for yourself. I feel like I like I understand why they might have locked it. Because a free company one comes with all those rooms so other people can make use of the house. Um, but also if there's not as big of a demand for them. Um, people want private houses too. <laughs> so I think unrestricted is good. Mm. Mm -mm. Is this a water park? Is this a partition? Um, furnishings from the furnishing design contest have been added. Is this a partition with water? It is honestly beautiful. I kind of want to think of how we can make use of this partition. I actually want to make like, um, I've heard about the Eorzean Aquarium. I don't think I want to make a bootleg Eorzean Aquarium, but, um... Other than the event space, what I kind of want to do for upstairs, I want to have a stage. And I want to have a section that we decorate for different holidays. But I really wouldn't mind having most of the upstairs be like a giant aquarium. Or maybe turn the area behind the door, like where we have our rooms to enter. Maybe that could be like an aquarium area or something. Because I really, I really enjoy aquariums like IRL and water and plants and grass. And I think it would be really nice to have an area that's just filled with lots of nature and fish and grass. It'd be nice. Mmm. Also, Jingo, see ya! Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. You always create hidden waterfall forests in your house? Yeah, that'd be so nice! That is true! If I grab a mansion, I would have more power to make waterfall fish areas, which would be quite nice. I'll see you, Shadow Dan. Thank you so much for joining today and for helping us struggle. <laughs> I appreciate that you filled in. It was probably quite hard um, where you didn't get as much practice as the rest of us did, but I really appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm. Is your merch on PlayAsia or a different online store? Of course it's on PlayAsia. Why would I put it anywhere else when I own my own store? <laughs> you can put exclamation point PA merch and it'll bring up a link to my merch. Or you can put exclamation point play Asia and just search Obake Pan. Mm. You're free company leader and you're addicted to house decorating. That's fair. I feel like, um, I don't know if this is a controversial opinion or not. Um, mm -mm. There's a specific reason I'm not addicted. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, what I would really like to see is the ability, I know this is a lot to ask, so I get why it doesn't exist, but what I would like to see to make house hunting more addicting to me personally is to have a feature where you can place as much furniture as you want to test what it would look like all together. So that before I spend my precious gill that I didn't earn people threw at me <laughs> on the furniture for the house, I know what it'll look like all together and I know for sure if I like it. Because I feel like if I spend a lot of money buying stuff to decorate, I'm going to feel really bad if when I actually have the furniture that I spent so much money on, I don't like it. That's my fear. That's the main reason that I haven't done more decorating. I just genuinely worry that I'm going to put all that effort in for literally nothing. It's just it's just gonna be, you know, waste of time. <laughs> so I've been I've been putting it off. Cause I don't wanna do that. That's a feature I would really like to see. But I'm excited about the new furniture. It looks very cute. Mm. I guess new normal furnishings. <gasps> this is so cute! I love this! The little fountain, the little like otter kappa looking dude. Adorable. A simple one item viewing. No, it's not enough. It's really not. It's been a hard part for your free company leader and I wanted to preview. I know, right? That'd be so useful. It'd be especially useful if you could preview it with other people in the free company so they could also see it together. Mm. And then you can decide, um, like, like you, you wouldn't be able to save in that mode, obviously, but you can have fun testing stuff. Also, I have Echo and Corvus. I like this window. I like the weeb window quite a bit. It's nice. The cherry blossom. I like this 
This bookcase wall is gorgeous. I don't know if it's old or new, but it's fucking gorgeous. <laughs> um, portrait furnishings may now be previewed. You may preview portraits in shops, your inventory, and elsewhere by accessing the preview subcommand. You know what I would also like to see in terms of furniture? I'd like to be able to see um, a thing where you can put your own portrait on the wall. Like, screenshots. Like an in-game feature to take screenshots. Like in Pokemon has for your ID. But like, I know you can make the trainer plates. Hi, Chino. But I want like the adventurer plates, not trainer. But I really would like to have a thing where you can take screenshots with like your free company or with your friends and put those screenshots on your wall. To me, that would be so meaningful. Like if I could get a big photo of us all together and put it on the wall, that'd be so nice. But unfortunately, it's not a feature, you know. <laughs> that would be a lovely one though. That's true. No, I don't think it'd be dangerous with mods because it'd be an in-game feature, like not upload your own photo. Like if you're using mods, the photo in-game will come out as if you as if you weren't using mods. Mm. That's true. Those 18 plus free, um, free companies would have a field day with their mods anyway. Turn on the mods and it would look a little yabby. <laughs> like the Sims zombie one. Hmm. Understand why it'd be hard to implement. I agree, I agree. It'd be really, really hard to implement. What? Well, yeah. It would definitely have to rely on an in-game screenshot system, though. Or really, really heavy. Really heavy, like, um, moderation. Like, um, it automatically gets sent to a staff member every time one's uploaded. Um, they have to approve it first. Mm -mm -mm. That... That's true though. People can do a lot with the in-game models. I've seen things. I've seen things. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um. Mm. You missed a lot of the older content raids due to me and randos. So hopefully you'll be a part of them with you. Yeah. I progress very slowly, but if you don't mind my slow pacing and you want to stick around, um, that's one thing I'm here for. I like, I like trying to include people who haven't cleared stuff and give them a chance to. Also, I like. Short question, will there be plushies? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> plushies are really expensive to make. As a CEO, I'd have to I'd have to be fairly confident that they're gonna make big bucks and rake in the cash before I could really consider that. <laughs> Sometimes the merch are cheaper to produce than others. Plushies are a little bit more of an expensive one. Even making a prototype is a bit difficult. Hmm. Uh, new orchestration rules. Uh so we're gonna have a bunch of different, um, a bunch of different ones added. Um, they're gonna be classified a little differently as well. Locales 1, 2, Dungeons 1, 2, Trials, Raids 1, 2, Ambient Quests is a new one. Um, and then the rest are all the same. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. New Aquarium Fish! <gasps> is that a Stingray with like a whole colony of friends on its back? That is so cute. He has a whole family of urchins and like sea slugs and shit. Do you guys know about that with saltwater aquariums? Do you guys know that? Um, it's one thing about saltwater aquariums. You can sometimes have mystery pets you never knew you were gonna get in saltwater aquariums. Because like you'll get in a coral or something, right? To help keep the aquarium nice and healthy. Otherwise, I keep from Discord, but then, um, with the saltwater aquarium, sometimes there can be eggs or like little fragments of corals or something that come with it when you set up the tank. So you can have like deep sea worms or you can have like random fish or shrimp. There's so many creatures that can come in your tank. And I think that's so fascinating. You don't even have to buy a fish necessarily. You can just have some corals and like set them up in a saltwater tank and they'll grow and you'll have like a bunch of other creatures come with it because corals themselves are already an ecosystem and I find that so fascinating. I really love saltwater aquariums and saltwater fish. We players really take better care of saltwater aquariums too because they're not for beginners. I would never attempt them, never. <laughs> But it's really fascinating when you see other people have them and are good at it. Hmm. And we see it for flower pots has been added. I don't think we have any flower pots. It'd be cool to get them someday. We can get morning glories now. 
New fact, I am interested in this. Look cool and scary. That's true. That's true. Hold on. I want to um, hide this for a second. Try to find one that I saw before. Um... I'll search an image. Um, salt water aquarium. Um, coral, random thing. Um, salt water aquarium. Life. I don't know the word for how to find it. Uh, coral worm. Ah, yes! Things like these monstrosities. Like, uh, like, like bristle worm. Oh, Reef Aquarium, that's where you should look for. Reef Aquarium. Here we go. Okay. So, this is kind of what they look like, in case any of you have never seen a, um, a Reef Aquarium before. Mm. They're quite unique. Um. So, this is a Reef Aquarium. It's a type of saltwater aquarium where you focus on getting little parts of different reefs and looking after like the whole ecosystem and all the fish and stuff that come with them. Um, so you can get lots of different things that appear with it. Um, like you can get little shrimp. Um, but these ones are cool. Um, reef aquarium. Mm -mm -mm. Warning for people who don't like bugs. This is probably this is probably not for you, what I'm about to show. <laughs> it looks like it could be a boss in Final Fantasy, actually. So this is definitely not for everyone. It's so colorful, right? That's beautiful. Um, you can get, like, giant-ass worms. Like, this guy spawning from it. Um, you can have, like, sea cucumbers. You can have, like, starfish. You can see on the, like, right below the big worm, there's, like, another little... A little type of worm or something that's black. You can sometimes have... I don't know what you can or can't have. But like pretty much anything that can lay eggs in it can hatch. And I just think it's so fascinating. All the different creatures that can come from it. Oh, and um, just in case you think that one was big. Let me show you another image of how big these guys can get. Um, just so you know exactly what you can be in for. Hold on, I gotta switch images. Like it didn't want to work for some reason. Mm. I'll take a screenshot so you can see it. <laughs> anyway, he uh, he's a little reminiscent of Leviathan, is all I will say. <laughs> Just a little, a little reminiscent of Leviathan. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know exactly how big they can get, but um. <laughs> You gotta be careful of these fuckers. <laughs> they can take over. That's the one downside with a reef aquarium. You have to balance the ecosystem. So, uh, sometimes you might have to play favorites because you might get some sort of creature that cannot survive because it'll, like, wreck the other ones. Um, there's also this one, which is pretty cool. The Medusa worm. Mmm. It's just really neat. Because you don't really know what you're going to get. Um, this is a Medusa worm. They're kind of different looking. They're really pretty colors. Um, they kind of just look like palm trees, I guess, going sideways. But with really, really small arms. Uh, I actually really like all the aquatic worms and stuff that you can get. They're, they're really interesting, even if they're kind of weird. And you can get, of course, like sea anemones. I can get so many different things. Tube worms. And I know that sounds gross, but they're actually kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Feather dusters. These are cool. These are cool. I think they're a type of worm. Mm. Mm. Like this one. A feather duster. I think it's a worm, but I'm not 100% sure. Feather duster. It might be a type of anemone. I don't know. Hmm. 
But yeah, there's just a lot of different things you can get. Like ribbon worms. I love looking at all the different creatures that can come. And I would love to own one, but unfortunately, I'm a little bit of a shit. So I don't think I could handle looking after one. I'll share one last one. They're Christmas tree worms. Christmas tree worms are really cute. They almost look like sea bunnies. If you've ever seen sea bunnies. This is the Christmas tree worm. <laughs> He's cute! Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'll go back to the patch notes. <laughs> huh? mm -mm -mm. No more worms, I promise. <laughs> like the deep sea vent heat vent worms? Yeah! I love all these things. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Exactly, Willem Turner. Saltwater tanks and surprise adoption. You don't even know what you're adopting. <laughs> That's really nice, though. I feel like freshwater could have that, too, in certain contexts, but it's usually more common for saltwater. I'm convinced you to stay out of the ocean? <laughs> Why are you afraid of these spawns? <laughs> uh -huh. So we get this new thing from the golden saucer. We can get this new mount, which basically looks like a cross between the whale and the airship almost. It's a fucking massive. <laughs> I actually do want to try to gab that one. I think it'd be cool to have. It doesn't say how many people can ride in this one, but I do hope that like the whale, it's an eight person one. Cause that'd be cool. And then I can have an eight person one that we can all ride on together. Um, Silk stuff has been added to the leap of faith. This is the new one. <gasps> it's gonna be a leap puzzle through the fairy area? I'm excited. I'm really excited for this new jump puzzle now. Cause I didn't know it was gonna be based on the sylphs. <laughs> the colors and music in the sylph areas is my favorite in the whole game. Although I'm sure it'll have the golden saucer music instead of the sylph area music. But it would be fun if they made some sort of whimsical remix with some of the like sylph instruments that are used in those songs. Mmm. I do want to try this one. Um, it depends if we'll take a week off from Final Fantasy or not. When I get back next week, it might be very end of week weekend. We could do more coils. Um, or it might be um, that I have to do something else and skip it. Um, but we'll see. If I skip it, instead of skipping entirely, maybe we could do a golden saucer stream from the laptop. Because <laughs> I, I don't think that's as detrimental. I just don't really want to do raiding from a laptop, you know? <laughs> Huh. You posted an image of what the new mount looked like in the original game. Nice! I'll take a look at that later. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hope it won't be much MGP because you just used 3 million. No! It's probably going to be quite a bit considering how I, if you look at it. It looks rather expensive to me. Mm -hmm. 2 million sounds like a decent estimate, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, they've adjusted the gate schedule a bit, so it's a little more predictable. Nice. One of the three listed gates will be held at the times below. The following... Oh, never mind. It's still random. <laughs> the following information can be uh, confirmed by speaking with the Golden Saucer attendant as well. Um, every hour on the hour, it is Air Force One, Cliffhanger, Leap of Faith, the following of Nim. So it's set. Which Leap of Faith you get is set. So we're going to have to hope... We're gonna have to probably wait multiple 40 minutes hoping that we get the new Leap of Faith, but that's okay. Um, I wish they had a practice mode for Leap of Faith. We could practice without consequences. <laughs> hmm. Um, we could do, like, um, some other games in between, though. It's fine. Um, anyway, the wind blows, slices right or Leap of Faith combined, and slices right Air Force One or Leap of Faith. The new one, self step. Uh -huh. Oh, I specifically Earth time? Because there's also Eorzea time, which runs a bit different. Uh. Mm -mm -mm. There will be make another Make It Rain event too. I hope so. Isn't the Make It Rain event usually around Easter? That should be coming up-ish. Because I know I usually think of bunny girls around then. Um, both gambling and Easter. So I think, I think they're usually around the same time. Mm. That's why I'm out. Mm -mm. The landmark it almost looks like a water park. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> ah, I can mute it. I'm sorry. <laughs> My throat's fucked from having to do the ten, ten and a half hour Trentania one. Ah, <laughs> uh, Pascaro, not Pascaro. 
Ew, your ears are bleeding. Your ears are bleeding and disgusted. You can't ever look at me again. You're so disgusted that this filthy VTuber coughed in your face. Technically, so that is relevant to me. Um, new hairstyle is available. Mm. I like the ponytail, but I'm sad that I can't use it. And I'll lose my beautiful face if I use the potion, which is disappointing. <laughs> Aurora, the hair, can I use, wait, 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 the hairs aren't gender locked, are they? I can use the ponytail, potentially. <laughs> I'm also quite happy. Oh, I, I actually don't think it looks as good from the front. Never mind. I don't like how it looks from the front. This looks so bad! The male hairstyle is literally lopsided from the back. What the fuck is this? This is terrible. <laughs> That's the worst! Mm, and they have new Hrothgar hairstyles as well. Mm. I think these are just regular ones that are now available for Hrothgar. This looks so cursed to me. <laughs> like this, this hairstyle on the Hrothgar to me just looks like someone's furry OC, like 10 times even more than the other Hrothgars do. <laughs> hmm. Oh, duty support has been added for a bunch in Heaven's Ward. Did you get a clear? We did not admit it. I'm sorry. Pin. <laughs> we got the 1%, though. We got the 1%. And then she had her self heal. <laughs> well, we did do pretty good. Mm -hmm. So duty support is added for a bunch more for anyone in Heaven's Word who doesn't have people to play with. Um, wonder to <gasps> corgi earrings, corgi necktie. I need these. I need these. Please tell me the Viera can wear. Her. The corgi earring. I just want this little floofer on my ear. <sighs> so sorry, you can make it. No, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I will probably practice on Discord a number of times. Mm, at some point. Mm. can -hmm. earring? Yes! I want to have the little corgi puppy earring. And it's not a Shiba. This is a corgi. I'm pretty sure this is a corgi. One, there's no tail. Two, it's very fat. Usually that means corgi. Corgis and Shibas look a bit similar though, but I, th I think this one's Corgi. Mm. No, Shiba is different. <laughs> this one is Corgi. And the Corgi necktie. This is cute. I kind of want this, honestly. For like my main outfit, almost even. Uh, there's some duties added as well. Uh, uh, um. So these are from Chloe's Silver Certificates. I'll have to look into if I can get these. Hmm. Following adjustments have been made to faux hollows. Oh, that's I can't. That's not relevant. A new emote has been. A <gasps> hold on, hold on. I don't think you guys understand why I'm so excited about this expression. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to find an image of it. It looks, it looks very similar. It looks very similar to something that I appreciate a lot. I need it. Oh, I need to finish Heaven's Word. Damn it! Mm. Hold on. <laughs> you will understand. You will understand in a second. Once I get... Uh, screen cap going because downloading images for some reason isn't working today. My computer keeps saying no. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Do you see the resemblance? Now 
I'll just give me a pointing meme and we can have a whole fucking trial. <laughs> I love it. I need this. I need this so much. <laughs> Objection. I thought he used two fingers. One is kind of different, but I'll take what I can get. <laughs> it's so good. New poses for sitting. Oh, that's good. I've been wanting some more poses for sitting. I don't feel like there's been a lot of variety. Oh, since it's a scale, hello. Mm -mm -mm. This is spectacles emote. That's the ink pearl connecting animation. Ah, link pearl. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I still, I still, it's gonna be Edgeworth in my head, okay? It's the Edgeworth emote. <laughs> so I'll be able to sit with my legs wide open now. Beautiful. Uh, at least the cat girls can sit with their legs off the edge of the chair. It'd be nice if I could do that. Probably not. Well, sorry, Harold. My day was good. Um. <laughs> this pose is hilarious. He's just spreading out, taking as much space as he fucking can when he's already huge. A new pose is available when holding an umbrella. Players can change their posture by performing change pose. Interesting. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Um, battle system. Miscellaneous is adjustments to action, trait, and status effect descriptions have been made. Okay. Icons indicating physical, magic, and unique damage will now be displayed in the battle log. Oh, I wonder if some of these will help with rating, too. Hmm. I'm taking out face on trains. Listen, I was usually the unlucky person that couldn't get a seat unless I got there first thing in the morning. And then... And then was stuck in a position where I had to stand and balance. It's like surfing on the train because I can't reach anything to hold on to. They're too high. So I just stand there surfing and I'm like, ah, 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 trying not to fall over and die the whole train ride. Because I don't want to hold on to randos. That's just weird. <laughs> I'm sure if you were on the train holding on to a strap, you'd be a little weirded out if the anime girl just like grabbed your waist so that she didn't fall on the floor. I can't do that, so I just have to surf. Mm -hmm. Time remaining for enhancing and enfeebling effects will now be displayed on the party list. So I can see everyone's status. That's super helpful. Mm -hmm. That'll be amazing. Uh, um, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Mm -hmm. The timers will help you with lightning. That's good to know. That's good to know. I've been struggling with the lightning one. Mm. That's my biggest weakness right now, I think. Even more than the dive bombs. I get so thrown off by the lightning that then I get more thrown off by the dive bombs. But mostly I'm getting thrown off by the lightning. Mm. How's red glass near hello? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I wish I could do the new dungeon because it does look beautiful. I'm also a sucker for snow and stuff, Leifa. Mm -mm. The, okay, so that's gonna be really helpful. Um, I wish I could do that one, but I'm glad they hit the trial. Good job, good job. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Go on, speed scroll. Ah, following adjustments have been made to deep dungeons. A next button has been added to the item appraisal window, allowing players to more easily appraise additional items. That's you don't have to do one at a time. Goddamn. Hmm. <laughs> Oh. A deep dungeon guide interface has been adjusted. Players can now view the deep dungeon guide via the character info window even after entering a duty. Sustaining potion effect duration has been increased from 15 to 39 seconds. Um, only for Palace of the Dead though. And Empyrean potion effect has been from 15 to 30 only in Heaven on High. Okay. Mm. Adjustments have been made from the following instance. That, oh, so there's some dungeons that are being changed. Great Global Library. I don't think I've done that one yet. The Etherochemical Research Facility. I don't think I've done that one yet. Um, Anti Tower. I don't think I've. The Ziggy Boss? That sounds so weird. What's a Ziggy Boss? Um, Sorkai and Selfatol and Belster's Wall. I don't rec. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't recognize any of those. <laughs> I don't recognize any of these. Mmm. -hmm. The display of target indicators for certain battle mechanics. Are any of these in the one we're struggling with? Uh, the display of target indicators for certain battle mechanics have been adjusted. Um, nope. <laughs> well, they're not 
of just seeing the one we're on, which is actually good, believe it or not, because I want to suffer. We didn't, I don't want us to do all this practice for the second coil, only for them to nerf it. No, I want to beat it as it is right now. I know it's been slowly nerfed over time, but I want to beat it as it is now. I don't want them to nerf it even more. <laughs> I feel like I was cheating. Battle on the brick bridge is the only one I know. Okay, yeah, yeah. So PvP, limit gauge charge will now be included in the limit break health text. Actions that increase movement speed will now include the rate of increase in their health text. Players will no longer be able to register for multiple duties uh, simultaneously when registering for PvP. Oh, that kind of sucks though. But there we go. Make sure to spam chat! We gotta get rid of that bot. We gotta get rid of the bot. Spam! 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 Um, players no longer... Oh, wait. That series 2 will end. Series 3 will begin. That makes sense. Having a new season start. Mm. Mm -mm. No, don't apologize. You have the right to look away for a second. <laughs> uh, Crystal, oh, series 3 will be held from 6.3 until 6.4. Oh, that makes sense. And they can earn EXP for that series. Hmm. Spam these nuts, that's against TOS. We can't spam the nuts. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> Crystalline Conflict, a new area arena. Clockwork Castle Town has been added. Ooh. I actually might be interested in trying this one out. Um, it looks really nice. Visually, I like the lighting a lot. I like I'm really biased to levels and stuff that look really dark. And I really like the lighting. It's just it looks like a theater. It almost looks like a kabuki theater. It's really cool. Mm. I wouldn't mind getting to check that one out. Also, Alex, you got it. Hello. And the arena events, trick floors. Standing upon a trick floor for too long will trigger a tatami twist. Launching the unwitting loiterer into the air, inflicting damage. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like tatamis on the ground in some areas. So you got to make sure that you don't. You don't stand still on the tatami. Mm. Trick doors. It almost seems like a haunted, a haunted Japanese mansion or something. Players who approach these false gates will find themselves teleported instantly to another door, far away from their expected trajectory. Trick doors only operate in one direction, so attempting to return the way you came will prove fruitless. That, oh no, I was gonna say that could be good for escaping people, but not really. Because then you can't go back. <laughs> so never mind. Also, Vitalia, hello! You're stuck in limbo from lack thereof for 14. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you this, but you're in limbo for a long time. You gotta wait for the game to come back. Just temporarily drop into a coma. And make sure to wake up exactly when it opens. And then you're good. <laughs> mm -mm. Sorry, I just noticed something. I'm gonna take a screenshot of something real quick. Um, just because I noticed it. Okay. Uh -huh. Sorry, there's one thing that was fixed, but it's acting up, and I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Fight against Obake in PvP. I feel like I would like to try PvP, even if I'd be really bad at it. I tried it once and it scared me. <laughs> Trying off stream might be a bit easier. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Nomadic Parade. Um, commencing after this patch is well underway, the Nomadic Parade triggers the appearance of certain events and NPCs. Clockwork Yojimbo. All I can think of is Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> a clockwork Yojimbo. The clockwork Yojimbo travels a predetermined path through the arena and unleashes strong physical attacks upon arriving in the vicinity of the center point, checkpoints, and goals. Clockwork Onyoji. A clockwork Onyoji travels a predetermined path through the arena and debilitates players with its gaze upon arriving in the vicinity of the center point, checkpoints, and goals. Players who meet its gaze will be greatly shrunk in size. You can be baby. And deal less damage, move slower, and take greater damage. Piles of gold sounds good, though. 
Promise Girl Kageyama will appear on upon the stage outside the arena and shall our combatants with coin. Players who get their hands on a pile of gold will have their limage gauge filled. Oh, nice! So the money gives you power. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You might create a character on Asia Data Center. I'm not on Asia, though. I'm in North America. I'm a primal loving up. <laughs> I do have a character on the Asia server as well, though. But this, this ain't it. I'll see Paris and hello! Yeah, looks like you're going to the Shadow Realm Jumbo. <laughs> I gotta stop thinking about Timmy Neutron. Uh, another two point notes. Um, with the addition of Clockwork Castle Town, the following adjustments have been made. Um, Psycho repeats. Okay, so it's just added into the rotation. Hmm, for ranked matches. To facilitate easier acquisition, medicine kits and bomb cores will be obtainable from a greater distance. That's probably pretty helpful. Also, Diaz, welcome! Not another marathon, don't worry. I'm probably going to end in around 45 minutes or so. Um, because I do have to hop on a, a plane in um, 4 hours and 45 minutes. I have to leave. I haven't been on a plane in a number of years, so I'm honestly pretty nervous. But I'll, I'll try to survive! No plane crash, please! <laughs> uh -huh. One player per job settings will no longer apply to spectators of custom matches. Interesting. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Hopefully you get to sleep. Oh, no, I'm not going to sleep. My flight's going to be like 10 hours or so. So the plan is just to sleep on it, you know? <laughs> the more tired I am, the more likely I'll be able to pass the fuck out on the plane. That's the goal. I'm afraid of planes. So if I'm really tired and I can pass out, that's great. If I'm not tired enough, I'll be awake, and I don't I don't want to be awake on a plane. <laughs> ha! I have, like, severe plane fear. Like, I will sit there, like, digging my claws into my knees, hyperventilating, <laughs> if I'm awake, so I don't want to be awake. Hmm. On the plane. Yeah, yeah, I'll sleep on the plane. I'll try. Uh. Um. Following additions and adjustments to make... Oh, make it custom. All combatants must agree to a rematch, and no more than five consecutive matches can be held in this manner. Ah, so you're forced to fight other people. Hi, Mega Man! Mm -mm. Watch a movie? I have the worst experience about watching a movie on a plane. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. I think it was the second live action Gintama movie. Um. I was watching. I'm gonna like, Google it and see if I can find the scene. Ah. Gintama movie too. Um, there's a live action Gintama movie. I saw one of them in the theater and it was fine. But then also Kiyosuke Hello. But then I started watching another Gintama movie on a flight because it was one of the movies that was available for the flight, right? And it was a live action Gintama. And um. I think this was... I think it was a live-action one where it had the cross-dressing scene. But, like... Gian was, like... No, yeah, yeah, yeah! It wasn't Gian! There's another guy! Okay, I'll show you a screenshot of what scene I had up. And I was just watching this on the plane. And then someone, like, the flight attendant walked by and was like... And just stared at my screen and then left. And I was like... So now I'm scared to watch movies I've never seen before on a plane. So this happened. It's not even that bad. Just it's a little embarrassing watching this around normies. If it was around weebs, no problem. But when you're watching this on a plane and there's normies as staff members on the plane, and then you have again. Um, cross-dressing, but it's like the dress doesn't fit, so he's constantly flashing his panties. And then you have this one guy in, like, briefs. <laughs> and you have Kagura with makeup that was done bad on purpose. And it... it... <laughs> you know the scene. Well, I'm Turner. How would you feel if you were watching this scene on a public plane and the flight attendant stops right behind you and stares at your screen, how would you feel? <gasps> I think, I think 
you can vouch. I think you can vouch for what kind what, what kind of experience that was. <laughs> also, milk cows are hello. It was it was it was, it was, uh, it was something. I don't know if I'll ever be able to live that down in my brain. <laughs> I want to rewatch it though when I get a chance. It was a good movie. Mm. From what I remember. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you know what? You're watching. Um. That had a plane once and you never got that far because you found it too late into the plane. No! That sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. It's like some someone tells me you rent porn, but when you check out in the morning, the dude will ask if you use any of her services. It's like, ah, uh, I don't want to specify which one's that. Hmm. Okay, Chopper. I'm gonna be doing Pokemon eventually, but uh, I'll, I'll do things when I get into them. It's not against the rules or anything, but like, uh, it's not, it's not the best, I guess, to ask me like when I'm doing X, Y, or Z, because usually, if I know, I'll say. If I don't know, I can't say, but. <laughs> huh. Uh, season 4 will end and season 5 will begin. Um, when the season ends, the top 100 ranking players from each data center will receive vouchers. <gasps> that actually is really cool. I wish I was talented and skilled at it. Because that would be really cool to be one of the top 100 and just get that reward, you know? Mm. Players finishing in the bronze tier or higher can claim rewards. Okay, blah, 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 blah. None of us are probably in that top 100. A number of the current season will now be displayed following Windows, PvP, and Duty Finder. Mm. New items have been added. Oh, these are gorgeous. These are absolutely gorgeous. Dang. If you can raid, then you can PvP. I might I might have potential. I might have potential to PvP. Right now I'm not capable. The one time I tried, I just screamed and like almost cried. <laughs> mm, someday. I really like the almost like snowflake design of these. They're quite gorgeous. I wouldn't mind having this one. Mm. And this one. I feel like this would be a really nice outfit for Heaven's Ward. It just kind of fits that vibe. I don't know if you guys agree or not, but it feels like it'd be really nice from what I've seen of Heaven's Ward, which is very little. <laughs> mm. You just cry on the ground. Exactly, Weeb, that's me. <laughs> mm. I like this one too. Mm. So like, Conte, you want to see me weep on the floor while I get my ass handed to me in PvP? Are you sure? <laughs> Although it would feel nice when we finally improve, but I don't know if we can improve. That's the problem. <laughs> mm. A new recipe is if that's relevant to you. Following items can now be equipped regardless of gender. I can put on a Valentine's dress. Hell yeah. What else can I put on? Songbird. <gasps> Songbird outfit. I can be an idol. Okay, that's exciting. I've always loved the um the uh, Songbird outfit, so I'm really really excited that I can wear it. Hi, like, Gabriel. If that was supposed to be cringe, your typo was even more cringe. Also, I embrace it. <laughs> um, I really want to get the Songbird outfit if that means that I. Yeah, I think these are all in the store as well, paid ones. Hmm. But I've been wanting the Songbird outfit. I didn't buy it because I can't wear it. So it's nice if I can wear it. I can have an idol glam. Hmm. I'll say, Luke. Hmm. I'm not going to read all of them. It's a, a huge list of items. You can look it up if you want. Following item names have been changed. A number of them. Oh, Gentleman's, I guess, has been changed to das Dashing Valentine. Oh, yeah, because it's going to be for um, all genders now. So Gentleman doesn't really work. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. And the ladies, it's just named a prim. <laughs> um, opening coffers that have been signed will now transfer raid signature to all items within. Um, this change applies to crafted sets of palette and arms to just genius. Okay, and a bunch of stuff. Mm. Detective Hildebrand did wear that dress builder. He wore it. He, he pulled it off. He, he killed it. <laughs> Open oh wait, those the following items are now dialable. Chocobo mask, chocobo suit, racing, chocobo mask, fat chocobo head. Oh no. Now when you guys wear the cursed chocobo head, you can wear it in multiple colors. You can have a rainbow of cursed burbs. That is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Mm. Following additions and made to glamour dressers. <gasps> Items may now be filtered by level, gender, or keyboard. Okay, 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 okay. But how many more space can I have? Or how is everything going to work here? 
Items may be sorted, but I guess no more space. Fuck. The option to display only recently added items has been added to script exchanges, but I don't do that, so I don't really enough about it to really comment. NPC vendors that deal in items obtained from duties will now appear according to player progression. Hmm. This is cute! I meant to skip it, but I looked at it. It's cute, whatever it is. Uh, they change color during mating season in order to assert dominance. Oh god, that's terrifying. <laughs> Chocobo fursuit finally diable. I feel like this was a mistake. We're probably gonna learn really quickly what a mistake it was. We see a bunch of rainbow furry chocobos walking around. <laughs> Following additions and adjustments have been made to custom deliveries. The requirements for bonus deliverables unlocked at maximum satisfaction have been added. Um, in the event that maximum satisfaction has been achieved with all custom delivery NPCs, bonus deliverables for each category, crafted items, gathered items, and fish are guaranteed to appear for two or more NPCs. Um, the display location subcommand has been added to deliverable fish. <laughs> That's actually pretty convenient. Um, and information regarding preferred bait has been added to the dialogue option. Mm -hmm. The names of certain categories under special recipes in the crafting log have been adjusted. Okay. Stories to class and Ishgard restoration to side story. Because I guess they have stuff from other regions, maybe. Um, following actions have been reclassified as gatherer role actions and may be used by all gathering classes once learned. Um, minor bonus and Fisher. Um, Fisher and Fathom, Shark Eye, Shark Eye 2, and Truth Oceans. Ah. Oh. So... These are things you might want to pay attention to if you use a lot of gathering classes. Mm. The category is guard restoration. This is now side quests. Miners and botanists will be unable to attempt um, to obtain items with a gathering rate of 0%. I guess 0% makes sense. Like, you shouldn't be able to waste your time if it's literally 0, like, impossible. Mm -mm -mm. Collectability values will now be displayed for reference when gathering. Oh, that's pretty cool. following additions and adjustments have been made to the fish guide. The number of fish displayed per page, oh, has been increased from 25 to 100. That's huge. You won't have to flip through pages nearly as much, 25 to 100. Basically making gathering more streamlined, that is really helpful. Gathering has been kind of very time consuming and not as streamlined as I would have thought for something like that. So that'll be more helpful for sure. Mm -hmm. Entries will now display prime locations. Ooh. So fish not unlocked will appear as question mark. And the prime locations of, of ones that have yet to be caught. That's really helpful. It'll help you find some of the fish you don't have yet. I really like that. Mm -hmm. Entries for fish that have been caught before will now display their preferred bait. Ah, okay. So once you already have them, it's easier to farm more if you need to. Mm -hmm. But for the living legends and shit, that's not going to change. Entries for fish that have been caught via spear fishing will now display their silhouette size. I didn't even know you could do a spear fishing. That'll be exciting to unlock. Weather restrictions, time restrictions, and special conditions will be displayed under additional information. A text search feature has been added. Oh, text search in case you want to look for certain fish. That is really helpful. And filters have been added by region and regional folk. Total successful fishing endeavors and fish caught will now be displayed. So now we can see how many times I went fishing. Um, records for spear fishing can now be sorted by region. Interesting. Level gap for desynthesis has been increased from 610 to 620. That's barely a change. New map! <gasps> Pink elephant! I heard, is it true there's a corgi mount as well, or is that only a minion? I saw something about a corgi. Is that the minion one coming? Oh, that we're gonna see the corgi in a minute. Ah! I, I kind of like the pink elephant. It looks very cursed. And I don't know if you guys have seen... Um, there's a play. There's a play that this reminds me of. The Elephant's Graveyard. Are you guys familiar with the Elephant's Graveyard? Um, how do I explain this play in summary? This is going to spoil the whole play if you plan on ever seeing it. But um, Elephant's Graveyard is about a circus that comes to a small town. And um, I can't remember what triggers it. But... The elephant ends up stepping on someone, and it kills them, and it crushes them. And, I'm pretty sure it wasn't the elephant's fault. It was someone's fault. They did something to trigger the elephant. And then, because it crushed someone, they decide, what are we going to do to punish the circus for what the elephant did to our townsperson? 
So, they decide to hang the elephants. Also, Basil, hello. But uh, obviously, elephants are very big. So, they can't just hang it normally, right? Um, they have to, like, get a bunch of really strong ropes and get um, a crane to lift the elephant up. And it's it does kill the elephant. It's... It's very sad because everyone from the circus like doesn't want the elephant to die but all the town people want the elephant to die. It's a very it's a very dark play, but it's very interesting. Hmm. Kind of want it. I think it's just that it's a circus elephant. It reminds me of it. I saw James Jackson. I was talking about a play called The Elephant's Graveyard. <laughs> uh, new Chocobo Barding has been added, but we don't have a preview. <laughs> Look at this minion! <gasps> ah! <laughs> He's doing the little excited doggy pose I need. This minion is not a want. This minion is a fucking need. <sighs> I'm gonna have to look up how to get this because I absolutely have to have this like every stream. <laughs> this is so adorable, isn't it, Aaron C? The thing is, this is what my dog does when she wants to have treats. She does this exact thing where she like splutes out her legs, sticks her tongue out, and like puts her in front of her body down on the ground. <laughs> she does this exact pose, and it just reminds me of my doggo, and it's so cute. You looked up a photo of the elephant hanging. No, it's a play. It's a play. <laughs> Go look up photos. I don't know what you're gonna find. It's a play, like a theater. Like theater, fake. They don't even have an elephant. It's a series of monologues that like describe the elephant in such detail. It's based on a true story. I didn't know that part. Um, it's like, that's really fucked up if it's based on a true story. Um, it's really unique in the way that it's handled in the play because there's no elephant on stage. There's not even a prop or anyone playing the elephant. Everyone just looks at it like where it would be and talks about it in such ways that you feel like the elephant's really there and you feel the heavy weight of when it happens. It's a really, really fascinating to see it done live. I was like, yeah, and Z's hello. Um, but that sucks that it's based on a true story. What kind of fucked up town does that? What the hell? God damn. I don't want to look up the photo. I'm not going to look that up. <laughs> That's not what I care to look at. Following additions and adjustments have been made to fashion accessories. Why does this look like a Fall Guys beam? Also, I'm gonna be alone. This this is looks like a Fall Guys beam. I don't want a Fall Guys bean umbrella personally. The dress is really cute though. Hmm. But I can do without Fall Guys bean. Umbrella style accessories can now be used automatically depending on the location and weather conditions. Um, set a preferred umbrella for automatic use. Oh, wait! That's so cool! Does that mean that when you're walking around, umbrellas will automatically come up when it rains? I love this. I'm definitely gonna make use of this. 100%. Just being able to pull out an umbrella whenever it rains. I know that sounds so silly because it's such a small thing, but it, it adds so much immersion to me. That makes me really happy. Mm. It only works though in large settlements, residential districts, the firmament, and island sanctuaries. It's not going to work everywhere, but it's still a really cool update. And it's now possible to converse with NPCs, craft, or engage in other activities while using... <gasps> while using a fashion accessory so I can talk to people with my big ass golden wings, please. I stopped using them during MSQ just because it was taking so long to take them out, put them back on, but now I can keep them on almost the whole time. So that's quite nice. Mmm. Definitely a bone for the RPers. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> on system, when using data center travel, if you're still in another data center after 30 days, you'll automatically be returned to your home world. Okay, that's like a tiny thing, I guess. Mmm. <laughs> Following additions and adjustments have been made to retainers. This is what you guys were talking about, streamlining retainers, right? Cast, glamour, and die item options have been added to the retainer menu. Interesting. 
These options can be applied to items equipped by the summoned retainer or held in their inventory. Um, does that mean you can put items in the retainer into your into your glamour chest? Or am I misunderstanding? If I can put stuff in my retainer into my glamour chest, that's huge for me as a hoarder. <laughs> and um you must have the appropriate glamour prisms still available though. Okay, that's fine. Um, the try on retainer subcommand has been added. So you can try gear on the retainer without like, committing to it. Uh, and trust duplicates function has been added. The interest duplicates button will automatically search for items in your inventory that can be stacked with those already in the retainer's position. Oh, that's gonna be huge as well. Never enough items. I know, right? I like that everything. A high dozen chance. Mm -hmm. No. It's so you can glamour the retainer. Oh, okay, I understand. I understand. Mm -hmm. Um, so you trust duplicates, basically it'll search and you can put stuff in in bulk if you have more than one. Mm. Got it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. And there's going to be an error that'll come up if it's not going to work. A specific error message will be displayed when failing to withdraw a unique item due to the same item being present in your inventory. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. And new items can now be obtained from quick exploration ventures. New retainer exploration ventures have been added. Still limited to where the glamour dresser is. It is what it is. Having a house makes that easier. Um, following adjustments and major achievements and titles. New achievements and titles have been added. Um, certain achievements previously included in the general quest category. I'll thank you for the follow, Albany. Uh, uh, uh. The main scenario and job quest rules. Certain duties will now count towards the completion of achievements. Furthermore, um, containment bay S127. What kind of name is that? No longer required. Um, there's just a ton of name changes for these. The Ethernet map will now display when accessing an Ethernet shard in the firmament. Alliances! Form via Party Finder will now be able to use Party Chat before entering duty. That's pretty good. Then you can plan before going into the duty. I thought you always could. I didn't know you couldn't. That's weird as fuck. <laughs> I guess that means you can chat while waiting for other people to join the party. That's really cool. New dungeons available for explorer mode. So now you can explore in Sestasha, Copperbell Mines, Thousand Miles of Total Rock, Brave Blocks, Cutter's Cry, Smell Dark Hold, Wanderer's Palace, Praetorium, Lavis Menelis, Tom Tower Deepcroft, Alatali, Hellcane Manor, Sunken Temple of Karn, Stone Vigil, Arm Vale, Castor Meridianum, and Amphidor Keep. All ones I really enjoy, so that's really cool if I get to explore them. I definitely want to do some exploring in Hellcane Manor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Duties can be recorded have changed. Um, before it was just the Mother Crystal uh, as Fodolos and uh, Aglaia. I guess now you can record Abyssals, which uh, is 6.0 and I didn't notice. <laughs> Jam Linux! Uh, the following changes have been made to group pose. Wait, stickers. We can add stickers! I guess you've always been able to add stickers. Now you can add more. I never tried stickers. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> so you can add stickers. New frames. Um, RGB values can now be adjusted using sliders and lighting settings. Uh, data center name will now also be displayed when display home world is selected. Oh, that's cool. Because if you're visiting someone else's, you might want that. Mm -mm -mm. Also, see you guys. Good night. Following additions and adjustments have been made to adventurer plates. Um, new accents. One for VNC dungeons, Delman Mahjong, Island Sanctuary, and achievements. Mm. Also, Nagi, Jeff, thank you for the follow. Following additions and adjustments have been made to portraits. Um, new accents, new poses, default background for portraits to now be ether rather than solid gray. Oh, interesting. Because that's kind of more like character creation, I guess. Hmm. Um, the import settings from Adventurer Plate subcommand has been added to the portrait settings uh, window. The apply to, uh, apply to Adventurer Plate subcommand has been added to the portraits window. That's going to be so much easier. It took me so long to figure out how to add a photo there. Mm, I'm good. Thank you, Sonic Prime. Um, camera control settings applied via the character configuration window will now be reflected when adjusting character positioning in the added portrait interface. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a warning icon will now appear in the portrait currently being edited. It does not have does not fulfill necessary requirements. Okay. So if, you're, if the expression is not oh. I get it. 
They added some requirements a while back to adventure plates, didn't they? You have to have the expression shown in the photo to prevent some of the ass shots and stuff that have been happening, huh? <sighs> nice try, Square. People will always find new angles. Two and okay. Mm -mm. Party members' instant portraits will now display at the start of the following duties. Dungeons! I love this! Now, next time we do the raid, we can see all of our portraits show up. Okay, this is a really good feature. I feel like this will be even more exciting when it shows all of our pictures and we get to do it next time. Mm. So now whenever we go into dungeons or trials or raids or alliance raids or deep dungeons, it's going to show all of our adventure plates. I love this feature. This might be my favorite update personally out of everything I've seen so far. Even the corgi. This is really exciting to me. Yeah, I just want to show off. Although it sucks that you can't show off the aura booty. <laughs> also cat girl alone. I'm gonna figuratively die. Haven't been able to sleep for quite a while. I've been having really bad insomnia as well. I'm sorry you're also dealing with something like that, Corvus. I'm glad you want to sleep now, though. I hope you have a good rest. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Only the eight portraits belonging to immediate party. So if you're in an alliance raid, you're only gonna see the immediate party. Which is a bit of a downer, but it is what it is. Uh, once a certain amount of time has passed or battles begun, party member portraits will be hidden. Portraits can be re-displayed at any time during the duty by opening duty information. So we can pull them up at the end of the party to celebrate again. Or by clicking the notification that remains on screen for a length of time following portraits being hidden. The display of party member portraits can be toggled on and off by accessing the UI settings in the character configuration window. And checking or unchecking show party member portraits at the start of duty under instant portraits in the general tab. Yeah, it's a really cool change. I'm really happy with this one. Okay, so heaven on high is basically just palace of the dead, but storm blood. <laughs> that makes sense. Mm -mm. Uh, it's now possible to display party members' instant portraits in the player commendation window. Mm. Following additions and adjustments and made to UI themes. Um, a new clear blue has been added. Ooh, I might want that one. It matches me! Apply this new theme via theme settings in the system. I didn't even know there were themes! I never looked into this! I didn't know I could change the theme of my whole UI. What the fuck? Is this why I've seen people in streams with different UIs? Because I know I peeked in once to Silver Veil when she was streaming the Island Sanctuary. And her UI looked totally different. Like, I've never seen anything like it. I thought maybe she... Oh, UI theme is new. That's why I've never seen it. Because, like, I... I guess she might have been using something. I shouldn't have said that then, but... Her UI looked so different. I was confused. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of options to look into. I know, it's overwhelming. Also, one downside of a big um, MMO game like this. It is extremely overwhelming when you're new to like learn about everything um that is one thing i think i was doing better when i was doing two streams of final fantasy a week but i i really am grateful that i'm going back to one i think i really indulge in that one don't get me wrong i look forward to it every week <laughs> but um doing one is a little easier for me because um, I've been, uh, I've been enjoying having a bit more variety. I wouldn't have been able to continue playing Pokemon if I was still doing, um, Final Fantasy twice a week, for example. And I'm really enjoying doing a lot of Pokemon as well and a lot of Nikkei. So, adding in, adding in, freeing up extra spots has been good, I think. For some weeks, we'll still do two. Um, but some weeks we won't. It'll depend. Uh. Um, when we beat MSQ, we might do two for a while. Um, but for, until we get to 2.5, probably not. Mm. Also, Jesus Christ, hello! Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Don't blame me on being overwhelmed. Yeah. I, it's, not like I, it's not like I don't want to look into it and not want to learn. It's just a lot when you're busy to try to focus on it all. That, it's one thing I used to avoid with lifestyle games in general, whether it's gotcha or MMOs. Like, I love these types of shit. Lifestyle games are my shit. But because I have to play them on a more casual level because of time constraints... It's always a little bit intimidating getting into it because you never know which ones are going to be like accessible if you only learn them to a certain depth. Like I'm never gonna have the same mastery of this game as some of you guys do who have like everything memorized everywhere. I'm not gonna get to that point. <laughs> 
But I'm really happy that Final Fantasy XIV is more accessible. So anyone at their own pacing can still get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Even if they might not necessarily know as much as the people around them. Mm. And that's this part of the reason other than the characters being ugly. <laughs> then I never got into WoW. Because it's just, it's too much to learn for a newcomer. It's like you have to learn it all. I don't feel pressured to learn all of everything in this game. But even, even the raids that we're doing right now. Don't say something like that, it'll come eventually. But that's the thing. It'll come eventually. It slowly eases you in. You learn things at a slow pace so that they're a little more digestible. And then you can kind of pace yourself instead of having to like learn a billion things on day one, if that makes any sense. Mm. How can you play Genshin Impact or Monster Hunter? I did play some Monster Hunter Rise on stream around a year ago. Um, I, I've actually been thinking I want to do a Genshin Impact Marathon stream. I really want Al Hytham. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I like him. <laughs> he is gorgeous! The new banner, I really, really want. Um, yeah, I really like that the community's okay with me just like um, going and wandering. Wow, it's not quite like that. Um, I'm thinking of doing a Genshin Impact Marathon to multiplayer stream. I'm really far, but I'm at like Adventure Rank 7 or some shit. I kind of want to do a marathon stream at some point to get to where I can do multiplayer streams with Genshin. I don't know if I'm going to stream a lot of Genshin, but just being able to stream some of the more unique events. Like, it felt really left out with the card game one. <laughs> or doing, like, um, collabs with Genshin. I would like to have the options. So I'm probably going to play more Genshin and then at least try to keep up with dailies. But I'm not going to make Genshin an every week thing. Um, not, not for me, at least. Just because I feel like I have a lot of ongoing stuff as it is. But I wouldn't mind having it be a one that we check in on periodically type thing. If that makes sense to you guys. I also want to get into FGO, and I want to alternate that with Nikkei, depending on if there's any events. Mm. Mm. Anyway, clear blue theme is exciting. 50-50 <laughs> right now in Genshin. Good luck! You saw someone play the Genshin card game and good card game, but man, the plot feels super forced. <laughs> as long as it's good card game. Mm -hmm. You got a Christmas postcard with my face on it! I'm glad that you got the Christmas card. You're gonna have fun sending it to your friend next year. I hope your friend likes it. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. You have to before you go to the desert area. I'm still in Mondstadt, Nostromo. I'm still in Mondstadt. <laughs> I think that says everything you need to know. Also, Pietro, hello. Yeah, I, 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 I GTA. It's a game. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, it, it can be amusing to run around and cause havoc, but it's not its not the type of game I'm necessarily drawn to. Like, if, if there was ever some reason where people were like, Yo, Pam, we want to sponsor you to play GTA. We're going to play GTA. I'd be like, yeah! I'm not like against GTA, but if I have a choice, I'm not going to choose GTA, probably. <laughs> it just doesn't draw me in because the characters aren't hot. That's probably the only reason. I'm very drawn to pretty people. I need a game where everyone is pretty. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Remember, Waymark save slots has been increased from 5 to 30. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever used a Waymark save. Hmm. Hello, <laughs> my GTA. Give me a GTA mod that turns everyone into like the Hollow Life 3D models or some shit, then I'll play GTA. <laughs> Current gear is now displayed in the inventory. That's kind of cool. Biggest quality of life update for you? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of pretty cool ones now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Boss loves pretty people. That's why she loves Chad so much. I mean, maybe you guys are pretty. I just stare at you guys an awful lot while I stream. I make eye contact on the other end of the PC. I just stare down your soul. <laughs> <laughs> Pull down menus in the currency setting window. Now display each currency's icon along with its name. Mm -mm. You play the shit out of Ground Theft Hollow? Right, I'd actually play that version. <laughs> you stare. <laughs> Pull down menus. Oh, wait, I already made that. After selecting an item for Grand Company Expert Delivery, the list will automatically adjust upon redisplay so that items before and after the delivered item are visible. Hmm. 
As a raid leader, it was always hard choosing which five fights we keep markers for. <laughs> Unders. Oh, wait. Question about the marker save slots. Does that mean that you can save, um, you can save way markers so that when you restart the raid, they're already set up? Is that what it is? If that's the case, that's really good. Especially having more. Mmm. Oh, nice! I didn't know that was possible. I thought you had to reset them up every time. That's incredible. I like that. That is a big quality of life improvement for sure. Also, Shorty, hello! If you save the markers, you can just click a button and put them right back in. Oh my god, that's so convenient! Hmm. Yeah, 30 is gonna be the new save. Mm -mm. A button to reset the order of cross world link shell channels has been added. In accordance with this provisional method for performing this function, implemented in patch 6.2 will be removed. Okay, um... Display toggles for system UI elements, hotbars, and duty UI elements have been added to the HD layout window, so it all can be adjusted in tandem. Automatic camera pivot can now be disabled when legacy type movement is enabled, allowing for seamless play with the camera at any angle. Oh, I might have to look into this one. God damn, I do have some camera chaos. <laughs> Apply the setting by going into control um, and selecting disable camera pivot. Mm. You saved an old cast room way marker set up to spell um, a CID on the run. Sadly means you couldn't save one raid from current. No. Options to disable right clicking targeting of certain types of targets have been added. Oh. That's not going to be useful for controller, I don't think, but. Apply the settings by going into the controls, and you can disable right-click targeting if you don't want to accidentally click on the wrong thing. The following options have been added to system configuration. General tab, movements is um, an added option. Mouse tab, you can now disable right-click of players, non-players, or minions. Um, and UI, general tab, instant portraits. Show party member portraits at the start of the duty. I definitely am going to enable that. Display portraits in the player accommodation. I'm going to enable that as well because I should pull them up again. Uh, the following options have been added to the system configuration menu. Oh, just the clear blue menu. The date of latest revision has been added in the cast credits. <laughs> I'm glad they changed the date. The following add additions and adjustments have been made to text commands. So it's just some that are changed. Uh, Link Pearl has been changed. Our Click PC has been changed. Our Click Battle on PC has been changed in case you use any of these. And our Click Minion has been changed. Hmm. Additions have been made to auto translation dictionary. I think there's auto translation. I wonder what that does. Additions have been made to the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 auto complete dictionary. Um, new music, sound effects, and voices. I'm so excited for the new music. Retrieve character data has been added to the subcommand menu for character selection screen. I thought it was already there. Maybe not. Return to home world has been added to the sub-command menus. You don't have to go to an aetherite to return to your home world. That is rather convenient. Mm. That is quite nice. I like that change a lot. Mm. In-game chat has a slight auto-translate that can translate common phrases. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Mm. It always um, it allows you to pick certain things that will change to the reader's own language. Ah! So it's kind of like smart chat in Among Us, where no matter what language the person's using, you can select some options. And then everyone will understand. Hmm. That was pretty cool. We reached the bottom of the updates, though, so now I do want to hide this real quick and look into the new music. And then, um, it is a bit later than I anticipated getting through the, pa the patch, so we probably only have time to sing one song from the game instead of pulling out the flute. But... I am excited. Do you guys have any requests from the game? Anything you want to hear me try? Keep in mind how much I screamed uh, during Neil before you request something batshit, maybe. <laughs> hmm. I'll pick one. But if chat heavily swings in one direction, maybe I'll lean towards that one. I feel like In the Balance could potentially be fun just for it's also kind of still a little bit recent. But maybe something else. I don't know. Mm hmm. Well, I'm going to Discord to find the song. The new one. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look when I play the song. So don't watch, but listen to headphones on. Perfect. 
Here we go. This is the new song, I guess. God, the instruments are so beautiful! So you don't want music spoilers, run away! If you're interested. Do you guys agree? It sounds almost like Calafina. Like a lot of their more whimsical songs. I want to learn this so bad. You know what I kind of want to do with the song? I want to learn like a music. I want to make a music box instrumental and sing with the music box or piano. I love the magical sound of this song. It's very whimsical, but like it reminds me of another singer as well, but I can't remember her name. Akiko Shikana, maybe? <laughs> the girl who sings the Umi Neko opening. Who's <laughs> mm. that middle problem? Hello! They're buffing a bunch of uh, quality of life stuff. Mm. Yeah, it sounds really comfy. But judging from, um... Judging from the Titania raid song, it's probably not gonna be comfy. Sounds kind of like um, Alice in Wonderland type creepy music. Like, wholesome music that's probably gonna descend into minor chords progressions. And get a little chaotic later on. This might also be. Yeah, it's an Eligo! It sounds a lot there. It's an Eligo stuff! Yeah, 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 the yeah, 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 yeah! I'm wondering if this might be the same song. Like, it progresses to this, honestly. Oh no, it's the dungeon and the raid music. Okay, they're different. I still like this song, but the first one I fell in love with. I fell in love with the first one. Looking forward to tasting the floor tomorrow? I gotta go look at the floor today. I love the fiddle! Fiddle has a nice place in my heart. I, I love anything that has fiddle. Especially folk music with fiddle. I wonder if I can learn the fiddle part on flute. It'll take time, but... Also, Dave can hello! Such a nice song. I think it's almost the end of the trailer, so... I'm kind of interested in this song too, whatever it is. You have to hold off until Wednesday to run the raid. Your free company runs it blind together. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Oh my god, time to die at exe. It sounds like time to die at exe at the end. I can't wait to look up some of the songs tomorrow. If I have a layover, I do have a layover, but I don't think my layover is. I think maintenance will still be ongoing, so I won't get to look at it. That is what it is. Um. Anyway, I promised you guys one song. We do Dragon Song a lot. As much as I like Dragon Song, I'm kind of in the mood for some, like, Endwalker stuff right now, even though I'm not there yet. Let's do End the Balance. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. This will be the one song today. It'll give you good luck. Good luck for prosperity for when we get there. Mm. I'm using an instrumental uploaded by um, Sleeping Penguin. Um. Wait, never mind. It says, if you're a singer and you're interested, please DM. <laughs> I don't have permission, so I'm gonna not use theirs if they want permission. I don't wanna be the asshole who steals it if they've specifically stated in the description. Please ask. <laughs> I'll try to find an official. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Last time it took a couple days for a clean version. Yeah, it's probably gonna take a couple days. I imagine that much. Here we go. Ah! That's gonna take me a little bit to set up. I'm checking volume and stuff for now. Let me know when I start singing too if the volume is okay.
ones go. Run!
Oh yeah. I'm gonna actually do one more song because you know, that's the 6.1 song. You know, we might as well sing the 6.2 song too. Even though I'm already six minutes over when I was gonna end and finish packing, it's fine, I think. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I wonder what kind of background I can use for the last one. Um, I have an idea. Who needs to pack for trips? Definitely me. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Hold on. Exactly, let's put the packing, it's not ours. Well, I actually still gotta record a number of shorts before I go as well, so that's kind of a bit more than packing. I, I have time. If I didn't, I, what I had was like a lot of leeway in case I needed it, so I definitely have time. We're fine. <laughs> Don't worry. Mm -mm -mm. This is more like it on the screen. <laughs> screen might be a little scuffed after all the screaming. I might have some coughs or voice cracks, but <laughs> I'll try. I mean, we can't lead up to 6.3. If we don't do the 6.2 song, can we? <laughs> We'd be leaving before we complete the trilogy, even though the trilogy isn't finished yet.
real quick and then find it. It's cursed. Um, hold on. I don't remember what it's called. I don't know if I can do it. I don't remember how it goes. Um, I still have time a bit. <laughs> um, hmm. What's it called? Uh, I've been trying to learn something. I don't know if I can do it. Um, that's a mashup I found that's really good. I want to try seeing it, if I can do it. I don't know if it's right key or not. I don't know if I can do this without hearing the original. Get it in the old brain. Get it in the old brain. Come <laughs> on. Um, Woo! That was it. <laughs> I'm gonna find someone to raid so I can get on my fucking airplane <laughs> and finish my shorts. Ah. Uh -huh. mm -mm -mm. Let's see who's available. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> there is a really good mashup for that though. If you want to find it, search um. FFXIV scream going under and you'll find it. It's really cool. The original mashup sounds amazing. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, but I hope you guys had a bit of fun looking into what's coming up in the patch and having some fun screaming with more raiding. <laughs> I can't wait to get back to more raiding. Unfortunately, we're going to have to have a little bit of a break. Um, but we'll figure out some other fun stuff to do. Uh, let me see who's available. I gotta, I gotta end stream pretty quickly. No, no hanging out quite as much as usual. But also, Asta, welcome, and thank you. I'm gonna do my best to have a good trip, named Saxon. Um, it's still really fun hanging out with all of you guys. Uh, it's a little shorter than the usual Final Fantasy 14 stream. I apologize, but I wanted to make sure I got some more in before leaving, and I didn't have time to start it any earlier or run any later. So I hope that this and all was good. Um, I'm dropping links to all my shit. Why are they not working? Uh, oh, they're there. Please, Chocobo, I'm so sorry. I gotta go. Uh, I'll give you a shout out though. I gotta run because I gotta pack for. Uh, I gotta pack for a trip. But I'll still give you a nice shout out. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you so much for thinking of me though. Mm -mm -mm. There you go. What are you doing? Uh, Oh, why didn't it work? Hold on. This is Flame Chocobo! You don't know who Flame Chocobo is. Hey, oh, you're playing Mario Kart! Nice! Make sure to go support their channel, too. 
Fuck you, lightning! That's always how it is in Mario Kart, always the fuck you, lightning. Ah! 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 I didn't even copy the Japanese. I kind of did my own version. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Anyway, I'm sorry I can't stick around longer, but thank you so much for the read. I'm actually looking at reading someone myself right now. Um, because I'm I have to hop on a flight in in uh five and a half hours. I need to get ready. <laughs> uh. Mm -mm -mm. Don't forget as well. Aka's keychain is just an intro. I'm looking glad you've had a nice time lurking. Um. And, oh, I know they were sold out for a while, but they are back in stock. Um, for anyone who might have been curious. Um, my sticker pack. My sticker pack is back in stock. Oh, my God. Oh, no, it was recent. I thought I missed a big super. I didn't. Wango, well, thank you for the super. Thank you for the stream. Have a safe flight. Thank you. I can't believe I missed that for a second. I'm sorry. Um, my, my, my shiny, sparkly sticker pack. It was sold out for a while, but it's back in stock last time I checked. In case you're looking for it. Um... I'm gonna show you guys quickly what it looks like. If you haven't seen it before, it's fucking adorable. <laughs> also because I'm checking if it's back in stock or if I'm a liar. Oh shit, I'm a liar! It's out of stock again! Fuck me! <laughs> I sold out again, baby! Whoops. <laughs> uh, Akas is in stock! If you want Akas! <laughs> It's also really cute. I'll show off Akas instead. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hers are still the nice, the nice shinies. Mm -mm -mm. You might have got similar stickers in your order, but you didn't get the shinies. Uh -huh. Let me show you so you can see hers. So these are, these are the the stickers. I would have a set with around the same amount, but mine is sold out again. Uh, but you can find Akas. They look like this. And if you type exclamation point playasia or there's a link in the description, you can find them. I'll pull up something else of mine. Um, because I feel bad that that was a dud. The one I shouted out was, was just not available. <laughs> um. Oh, this is back in stock. This was out of stock for a while. Um, uh, but this is back in stock. Mm. Um, so I'll shout out the mini case. It's kind of a unique type of merch that's really, really cute. And I don't know anywhere else that actually sells things like this. Um, it's a mini case for Switch, right? Um, so it's it's like a tiny little keychain that looks like a Switch case. Um, the front of it looks a little more like a traditional Switch case, kind of. Um, you can actually fit a game in it. Like, it holds a cartridge on a keychain. They're really cute, and it has me on it. Mm. So if you're looking for Pam-specific stuff, may I recommend, may I recommend my little mini case. <laughs> ah! Yeah, the Aka stickers are really cute, aren't they? The mini cases were sold out for a really long time, so I'm happy to see there's some more in stock. With that being said, I'm gonna put my links on Twitch as well. Oh, I already I put some of them. I put music. <laughs> uh, and then let me find someone to raid on Twitch and find someone on YouTube. Mm. Also, Kyle Player, hello! I am on stream right now, but if you wanna hang out um, for more of the chaos next time I stream, feel free to stop by. Um, make sure to subscribe and then you'll have a notification next time I go live. <laughs> Let's see if there's anyone doing anything similar that I can read. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what, <laughs> what is the stream based on the title? What the fuck is this? I gotta take a look. I need, I need to know what this is. Oh, it's just reacting to memes, okay. Uh -uh. Um. Um. Hmm. At the same time, this is the first time I've never been able to raid before because of time zones. So I think we're gonna raid them. I'm gonna raid Alethia Moirai. Um, the goddess of fate. I'll get an image up so you guys know where you're going. She's reacting to some videos and memes right now. Um. Bum, 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 bum. And then. We'll find someone on YouTube to read. So if you're on YouTube, you're not allowed to leave. I'm holding you hostage until we find someone to raid on YouTube. If you leave, I will find out. And I will not only fire you, I will end you. I will end your whole timeline. I will end your whole, your whole bloodline. I will end everything. 
It will cease to exist in any fraction of any form. So you're not allowed to not support my friends. <laughs> I love you, Moira is on Twitch right now reacting. And, um, I don't see... Oh, rules. Be nice to other viewers. Don't spam or troll. Do not share private information. Talk about the stream, but please don't bring up unrelated topics or have personal conversations. Don't bring up other streamers or streams unless I mention them. Similarly, don't talk about me or, or, um, or my stream in other streamers' chat. No backseat gaming. Uh, we're trying to have a good time. And respect the moderators. As long as you follow the rules above, you can chat in any language. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, I'm going to send you guys over to Alethia on Twitch. And then we'll find someone on YouTube, okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. The rest of the week is pretty gorilla, but I do have an Apex collab at um, 2 a.m. I'm sorry, 2 a.m. EST or 11 p.m. PST um, with Aka and with Eric Guinevere from um, from um, Project Kawaii. We're gonna be, Aka's gonna be carrying us. We're gonna suffer. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys. Bye bye. This is Olivia. In case you're not familiar with who she is, I'm gonna send you guys over here. Mm -hmm. Once the Twitch raid is set, I'll find someone on YouTube. Bye-bye.